What's going on guys? We're live. We're live later than we expect it to be, but we're here and we're going to play, uh, well, we, who's we? I'm Scott, everybody. Hello. Welcome to phasingplayer.com. Live stream of a cool game from one Jim Felly at Devious Weasel Games. That's a game you can see in the background kind of behind this beautiful plant that Mike, uh, my boy Mike put over here. Uh, Cosmic Cosmic Frog. We're playing Cosmic Frog. I've done a stream of this before, uh, but it was a solo game. It was me playing by myself using Rookie Royals uh, solo bot. Works super well. If you want to play this game solo, go check that out at a Rookie Royal site. I don't. I think it's on Board Game Geek, but I don't think it's on the DB Weasel page. Uh, but I'm not playing solo today. I'm playing. You, yeah, well, I'm by myself. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna play a board game by myself here. Uh, let me just switch the camera over to these empty chairs. Bloop. Oh whoa! Oh. What? There are people here. <laughs> it's they can't. They're in a silent film yeah. though. Silent film. <laughs> uh, We've got uh, my boy James What's over up? here, and uh, we've got my boy Mike over here, Hi. who's a DJ, which is why he has headphones on. Yeah, uh, I'm running a, an online DJ uh, stream as well right now, uh, you double so it up. Double it up. if I don't pay attention, I'm not fully paying attention, I apologize. Yeah, if you're gonna, uh, what, do they, what do the kids say now? They, you drop a sick beat, right? Poggers. Pog, what? Is that, <laughs> can we say that on the internet? <laughs> okay, call someone a pog, that doesn't sound right. I'm pretty sure that's what the kids say. Yeah, okay. that's what the kids are saying. Well, Mike, you're here, you're running the stream. Uh, you're running the stream in addition to uh, playing with us today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We decided to uh, d double up on duties. Yeah, we're going to see how it goes. I mean, that's the real question, right? Uh, Maybe it will be good, maybe it will be terrible. <laughs> maybe it'll be a huge mess. And we'll know. Uh, but we're going to try. So um, if you have not played Cosmic Frog before, if you're not familiar with it, I'm going to give a really wide overview. I'm not going to be explaining the game in detail. Though, honestly, I probably, I probably actually will be explaining the game in some detail because Mike has not played before. I'll be uh, asking a lot of questions. I'll be asking a lot of questions. So I have, I have, we've told him how to play, we've gone over that kind of stuff. Um, James and I have played... And uh, it's a really fun game. It's, it's, it's a good time. It's chaotic. It's, it's, um, it's one of my favorite games that I've played over the last like year. And so um, hopefully, Mike, you enjoy it. James, hopefully uh, you and I have a good time as well. Uh, Mike, why don't we get a shot of the board here? And um, here we go. Here's what's going on. So uh, in Cosmic Frog, each player plays as one of these big old frogs. The game comes with these cool little frog miniatures. And um, we are trying to eat all of these colorful little land spaces uh, all over this, this place called the Shard. And uh, what we need to do is eat these pieces up and then send them into our gullet. You eat up on uh, these boards over here. We each have little player sections here. And we're going to uh, eat the land, um, put them in our gullet, and then try to uh, throw them up into our vault, where at the end of the game they will score points. Uh, our vaults have these like uh, honeycomb sort of layouts, and depending on the order they get put into the vault, uh, they will score differently at the end of the game. And uh, I'll kind of explain maybe why I'm doing certain things as I'm doing them, um, but otherwise at the end of the game we'll go over scoring. Um, we'll, get, we'll get a little close-up cam and we'll be able to see how we're scoring stuff. Uh, additionally, we each have these fancy frog powers. This is face down right now because it's secret until I choose to reveal it. But it's a way to sort of make the game asymmetrical without baking in those asymmetrical powers to each color, right? So the green, the blue, and the yellow frog are all identical right now. But when we flip over our ability cards at our leisure, uh, we will get some special powers that differentiate us from each other. This is combative. This is, this is a competitive game. So we will be fighting. There is a bunch of dice that you get to roll. They'll only ever like two or three at a time. Um, and uh, it, yeah, we'll beat each other up, send each other flying and kind of go from there. So uh, uh, why don't we just keep it as that right now and go ahead and start the game. Maybe um, maybe again, as, as I take my turn, as we take our first couple of turns, we can sort of explain what we're doing or why we're doing it. And hopefully, hopefully give you guys some good ideas as to how the game works if you've never played it. It is a cool game though, uh, so I recommend checking it out. Um, also thanks to Jim Felly for sending me this game. Um, Jim Felly, the designer of it, as well as the, the publisher for his company, Devious Weasel Games. Uh, all right, so the game starts. We're gonna draw uh, the way you take your turns. It's not a preset order, uh, though I suppose it is. I've shuffled this deck, and this deck is in a the deck is in a fixed order. I just don't know what the order is, so it is sort of preset, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna flip over the top card of this action deck, and that'll be whose turn it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this card over, 
and go above loop. Oh. It's green. I do the green card, as uh, everyone can see. There you go. Uh, green card right here. So that is me, incidentally. I swear I did not stack the deck in my favor in that regard. Uh, so the first thing I have to do is end up on the shard. The first thing you do on the very first turn of the game is put your frog, when your turn comes up, somewhere on the shard. The restriction is it has to be on one of these barren tiles. Uh, I should also say the way the game ends, probably, is by um, enough of these barren tiles getting flipped over. If you get a, the, there, there's a mix of tiles under here, these gray tiles are barren tiles, there's either nothing on the bottom or there's like a fracture. And if you get six fractures, fill up this track, the game immediately ends. That's the way the game has ended, I think, every time I've played. Uh, the other way it ends is if all of the land gets eaten. Right now, though, i got to go somewhere on this board, and I have to be on a barren tile. Uh, I will go, let's see, assign these all randomly, as randomly as I can. Let's land, let's land over here. I'm trying to collect a, a decent assortment of tiles. And so I think I'm going to go right there. So I'm hanging out down there, and now I'll take an action. On your turn, you take one action. And there's, a, there's a handful of ones you can take. Most of them are move or eat. Those are kind of the two big actions. Um, so I'm going to do my first action is going to be moving. I'm going to hop, bloop, right over here onto one of these land pieces. Now, I can take an extra action. If I spend a resource, we have these, it's probably hard to see because they're transparent, but we have all these big chunky tiles, or these um, um, acrylic pieces rather, called oomph. And when we spend oomph, we expend it, and uh, it can do all sorts of things. It can make combat better, um, but in this instance, what it's going to do is it's going to give me an extra action. However, before I do, remember, two oomph equals one extra action. I'm actually going to, right off the bat, reveal my special ability. I am the Marauder. The Marauder has uh, two passive abilities, one of which is your extra action only costs one oomph if it is harvest or raid. And harvesting is taken tiles. So I'm going to go ahead and spend a single one of my oomph. We each have six oomph. I'm going to spend one of them, and I'm going to go ahead and harvest this, uh, this forest tile here. It goes into the bottom of my gullet, and you can only take one extra action per turn, so even though I have more oomph, I cannot continue doing extra actions. And that'll be it. That's my turn. I, I landed, I moved, and then I went ahead and ate a tile uh, with my Marauder ability. Uh, so actually, Mike, why don't, we, uh, why don't we switch to one of our close-up cams real quick, and um, I'll show you kind of what this ability card looks like. Go ahead and start this you're... up. Gotta gotta work on it here. So pardon me while I'm on my phone in the middle of this game. All right, camera's up. Okay, one second. So yeah, it's still this this little cell phone cam thing is still a work in progress, but we're trying to get it going. I need to. Um... Oh, did you never get the IP from me? No, I got it. Okay. I just need to get the audio into the to the other cam. So in the meantime, if you guys enjoy uh, this sort of content where we futz around with technical stuff in the middle of the stream, <laughs> go to phasingplayer.com/slash/donate where uh, you can throw some cash our way, help us improve. We actually just sort of put this whole thing together, um, this, this new streaming studio compared to where we've been doing it in the past. Um, and thanks also to Mike a lot for putting a lot of this together. Yeah, you've done You're a lot welcome. of good work. It's been, uh, it's been some good stuff. You're welcome. Um, I'm going to try to transition. The audio might go out, but I'm going to go back. All back right, let's up. see. Let me go back. So the audio did go out. I'm going to... So we're still working at it. Well, in the meantime, <laughs> while Mike is figuring this out, uh, if you don't want to send any money to us, which is totally fine, I understand, consider uh, subscribing to the channel. We're on YouTube. We, we've been trying to do this every two weeks. I think that's our goal right now. Maybe boosting it up to like every week or something in the future, or maybe edited videos every other week. We'll figure it out. But um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it doesn't cost you any money. And uh, I, the numbers on the channel get bigger, which, and numbers going up is always fun. I like to see the big numbers. Bigger numbers are better. I think that's a universal constant. It's just big numbers are better than small numbers. That's why they're big numbers. Yeah, that's true. Right? Is <coughs> What's better, number one or number seven? Well, I guess if you're racing, the yeah. number one is better. What about uh, AD&D armor class? Okay. Then lower is better. Yeah. Okay, in but, this instance... But big lower is better. Uh, we're yeah, we're on the close-up cam lower. now, and we've got audio with it, so we're good. Okay, it's very choppy. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, we, I don't know if we'll do this very much, because uh, I see it's very choppy, but that's fine. So, this is the ability here. <laughs> This is the uh, what the cards look like. They all have some different colors up here, and this is going to be the dice that you roll, um, depending on where you're at. So the top one is if you're fighting on the land. The middle one is if you're fighting in the ether, which is like the space. And then the bottom one is if you are raiding a vault, which we'll get into a little later on. 
Uh, and the art on all these cards is real cool too. So even if it's choppy right now, uh, you can still see the art and it looks pretty rad. So why don't we go ahead and cut from that. And uh, we will we will use that sparingly because it's uh, having, having some system. technical issues on it, but uh, the, the, there is a brief explanation of how powers work and how they look. Um, so now I went. It doesn't mean we go clockwise. It means I'm going to draw the next action card and see what comes up. It is yellow. Michael, that is you. Take your first okay. turn. So, um, okay, so I can do one thing. First thing I'm going to do is put myself on first the First thing you, you must do on your first turn is land, and you can go on any barren hex. And I can't go in the ether. Right, you have to land. You're kind of The idea right now is you're sort of in the ether, and you're going to I'm land. I'm cosmic mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so Nice. Landed yeah. perfectly. Right on top of yours. I think you are descending in the rules. I think that's yeah. that, yeah, descending onto the shard. Okay, so I'm going to start this game out with a big a big old attack here. Uh -oh. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump right, right here. And look right at you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cut to the board here so you yep. can see. So I'm dropping okay. in right here, and I'm looking right at this guy. I want to attack him. I'm going to show my ability card. Ooh, okay. I have Mutagenic. All right. I regain two whenever ether flux occurs, and I regain uh, one any uh, whenever a frog turns their ability card face up. Okay. One oomph. Uh, I can use an oomph to use the same combat dice as your opponent. All right, I use yellow in this case. So I might use an oomph Probably to smart. use yellow as well. Probably smart. And then at the end of my turn, before the next turn starts, I can swap my ability cards with the target frog. Okay, so, so you, I can you snag could snag your ability. Fight me and then just take that. Um, Pretty good. But what I'm going to do is fight you. So okay. what is that? That's so what just you need the to do, action of. You, basically, you're just leaping into my hex. So, and so, like so there's a thing, so put it, put it right on the side. There's an idea in this is you have an attacking side, and you're attacking from the side of me. So right now we're sort of facing each other, right next to each other. Okay. And if you beat me, you're going to kind of knock me back um, in the direction you, you were going. Okay. All right. So um, I get a yellow die for my attack. You get a white die, but... I'm going to use an oomph. You're going to use oomph, okay? So that will also give you a yellow die. Now... The dice in this game, there are three colors. There's white, yellow, and red. Uh, they are all six-sided dice. The difference is the white die goes from zero to five, the yellow die goes from one to six, and the, the red die, as you might guess, goes from two to seven. And you want higher in this game pretty much all the time. Again, bigger numbers are better. So subscribe right. to the channel, get those numbers for me bigger. It's as a personal favor. Um, all right, so I'm rolling this yellow die. You're going to roll that yellow die. Now, the first thing that you need to do the attacker decides if they're going to spend any oomph to enhance their combat in some way. You can spend two oomph to roll a second die of the same color, and you may also spend two oomph to boost your end result by one, which you can do multiple times. So you could spend four oomph to boost it by two. Do I have to use two. that oomph before I roll or after? Yep, right now. You choose in advance. You no, can I'm do both of those things if you want. You don't have to do one or the other. I'm confident that I can you think you're just win. roll you. Okay, well... well Okay, because the you're after you choose, even odds. after you choose, I get to choose to do the same mm. things. All right, I will uh, boost. You know, boost it by one. I can't add if I add a die. You can you also take boost. the I. You take the higher die. Mm -hmm. yep. You roll both and take the higher. Um, what are you thinking? I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna boost it. You're gonna boost. Yeah. So plus one to your result. Uh, I'm going to boost it plus one. Okay. Uh, I like my power. I don't want you to steal it, and I want to be eating the stuff that's hanging out over there. So I'm actually going to spend two in order to give myself a second die. Okay. So I'm going to roll two yellow dice. You're going to roll one yellow die and get one to the result. So you know what we can actually do here to sort of even this out? Because there are only two of each color included with the game. Uh, effectively, you're rolling a red die. Because instead of being a result of one to six, you're going to get two to seven. So why don't you roll this red die, and I will roll both of the yellow dice. I don't know if that math makes sense to me, but I'm going to believe you. It completely makes sense. doesn't make any sense to me. All right, so we'll both roll at the same time. See what uh, we got here. Sure. Let's uh, do it. So I have a five. You got a, a five as well, but plus one makes it a six, effectively. Okay. So uh, you win. You beat me. Good. I, I, there are some Even. things. Now, I can spend oomph. My Marauder ability card does say I can spend an oomph to re-roll my choice of a combat die. But okay. I actually can't beat your result. Okay. Because right. you rolled the maximum you could roll, essentially. Right. Um, 
Does Defender win ties? Defender or? does win ties, but Mike is the attacker, so... Right, but you could try to... I guess I could get a six as well. Yeah. I could get a six, but the odds are super low. Oomph is kind of a rare resource, and so I'm not willing to spend that to do this. So I, I will take the loss. Okay, so what do I do now? So now, the first thing that happens is because we are on the shard, uh, you, you will knock me back. Okay. And you will knock me back a distance equal to the... Um, the difference between our result. Which is one. So you will knock me back one space. In this case, one space is into the ether, so knocked into space. All of this ether on the board is one giant space. The shards have individual hexes, but the ether is just one location. Okay. Next, you enter, yeah, you enter into the hex that I was in, because remember, you leaped onto my space to fight me, so you're like bouncing me out. And can I take your gullet? You can. You may either take the hex that you landed on, or you can steal from my gullet. I'm gonna steal from your gullet. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So you take it, it goes to the bottom of your gullet. All right. You like All right. made out with this space frog. Now, and don't you forget, your ability. Your ability, you can take my power if you'd like. I don't want to, I like mine. Oh, what are you saying about now. my power? I think it's stupid. Oh, it's, it's good. It's a stupid power, you got beat up. I think it's a, I think it's a dumb power. All right, well, if you say so. Yeah, you lost, so I don't know what else to say. Okay. Uh, and then you can still spend oomph to take another action. Take another action. Yep. Um, yeah, let's do it. Oh, two? Mm -hmm. Two, yep. And I'll eat this other one. Is that good? Wait. So, like, the. So now I got. Now here's where you kind of look at strategy, right? Yep. So, like, if I want to get one of these cool siphons going, right? Correct, which is siphons are good. It's um, a Highland. Sandwiched. Sandwiched by a lowland. Two lowlands. And so, that's a lowland, and this is a highland. And those yep. are the same type. So that, yes. Yeah, so they have to be the same type, too. They have yep. to be the same type. So, yeah, so if you ate this, then you would, you know, flop again. When you when you spit stuff out, it goes to the top of your gullet to the bottom. Mm -hmm. So you would put that on the bottom, and then you could put the yeah. forest on top, and that's that's on the way to a siphon. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat this one as well. Okay, so you devour that, and then that will be the end of your turn. That's the end of my turn. Great. Let's go ahead, Ben, and uh, flip over an action card. It is, hey, Mike, you get to go again. Nice. That's kind of a funny thing about this game, is we each have, for, for players to want to know, we each have six cards in this action deck, but it's all shuffled up. So in theory, Mike, you could get all six of your actions right now, but then Jimmy and I are going to get to do a bunch of stuff that you can't respond to. Sure. At the end of the game, it is nice to be able to go in a row like sequentially. Early on, though, it's not necessarily good. Being able to respond to stuff early, I think, is pretty beneficial. So, all right, you get an action. You can move. You um, can... I want another lowland, right? Because I want mm -hmm. a highland between two lowlands. Ideally, yeah, you want a what is it, yeah. meadow or a plain Though, or something. Though, when you disgorge, meadow. remember, it comes out top first. Top first. Sure. So, mm -hmm. there could be a situation where you can't make a siphon. <clears throat> Maybe right. the situation is Cause, it. Because you probably want to disgorge that stuff before you get more. Because otherwise... Right. You're gonna right, 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 right. That's what I should do, right? Yeah. So I will um, disgorge. And so to do that, you got to get into the ether. you got to oh, jump to the ether. Oh, I can't disgorge unless I'm in the ether. Okay. That's sort of the big hook of this game. That's the big, that's the big thing, is you, to disgorge from the land, you got to first get into the ether. But okay. when you're in the ether, you're vulnerable to the outer dimensions. So okay. to get points, you got to make yourself vulnerable. Um, okay, so I'm gonna jump out now. Do you want to recover your oomph before you jump out into this area? Yeah, maybe that's good. Maybe that's, that's a good thing to, to do. So if I recover my oomph, can I then pay to do another action? Nope. If you recover your oomph, you cannot have spent oomph at any time during your turn. So mm -hmm. if you recover, that's it. Think okay. of things like Cryptic Explorers. When you rest, right. maybe that's it. Right. That's all you're doing. Okay, well, I'm gonna... But I'm gonna recover my oomph. That's gonna be my turn. You're, you look very well rested. You yep. recovered. Okay. I've done. It's a well rested frog. Next card, green. Jimmy, you're just gonna sit on this I'll, game. I'll get on the board at some point. Yeah. All right. So uh, I'm out in the ether right now. I don't have anything to disgorge in my gullet, so I just want to get back on land. So I'm gonna land uh, over here. Yeah, you don't just have to land on a barren. Right. When you're coming from the ether in the beginning of the game, we had to land on a barren tile. When you're coming from the outside, you just have to land at some point on the outside of the um, outside of the tiles. So I did that. I landed over here, and um, that's going to be my turn. I'm not going to spend any oomph to do anything extra right now. Well, you know what? Yes, I am. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm going to do my special thing where I can spend one oomph to do a second action if it's harvesting. Uh, and I'm going to do that. 
So I'm going to harvest once again a forest tile that Mike had taken from me. And I will draw another card. This game does move pretty fast when it gets going. Hey, it's me again. Yeah, good job. Uh, Jimmy, I promise you Am I in there? I are promise you okay. there. Uh, all right. I'm just going to go ahead and eat as my first action. And then I will... Do that's it. I think I'm just going to eat and that's it. So, next card. Yellow. Hey. <laughs> All right. It's you. <laughs> it's not Jimmy. Uh... So, right now, something I like to kind of keep track of in this game, too, is how much we've each gone. So, Mike and I will have each gone three times. Okay. So, I'm going to move... Um... Ooh. Ooh, we'll, we'll uh, dissolve. Like nice little dissolve. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> um, I'm going to move out to here, to I'm, the ether. I won't tell Mike that there are like a dozen different transitions oh, that I've I seen. To do. Um, <laughs> I'm going to move out to the ether, so that's just a move. That, mm -hmm. that, that's your action. That's just my action. Yep, and then you could do an extra to disgorge. And I'm going to do an extra action to disgorge. Okay. And I disgorge one? You, uh, as much as you want. All of it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it could be one, it could be so I'm gonna two. Do that. But it's always top of the gullet to the bottom of the gullet. And that. Okay. And now uh, Mike is putting them into his uh, into his vault over here, and uh, you can see he stacked them. You don't have to stack them, but uh, you can put up to three in a single spot. And for for siphon purposes, Mike was talking about siphons before. It's so basically the the land types are split up into um, four like categories let's say and if you have um, the right combo in one category which is a lowland piece a highland piece and then another lowland piece on top of all the same type it creates a siphon and whenever your action card comes up you passively regenerate one oomph um, which is really good being able to passively regenerate oomph is great and if you can get two siphons going that means you will always be able to take a second action on your turn because at the start of your turn you regenerate two mm -hmm. oomph you can spend it to do a second action. It's a good little cycle to get. They have to be of different land types, which can be a little harder to... Right, right. But still, that is very good. Uh, okay, so uh, Mike, you're jumping in, and then you disgorged. Mm -hmm. So now it's the next card. Jimmy's in the game. I'm in the game. All right. All right. Let's see what you're going to do with your turn. I'm going to land right here. Okay. And I'm going to leap here. Eat some water. Eat some water. I'm going to eat a lake. Okay, that costs you two oomph to do. Yep. Because while I can eat stuff for one due to my ability card, uh, you cannot. So that's true. So that's me. That's I ate a lake. Next card, green. All right, Jimmy, sit down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of the game again. You didn't perform, you, did, you, you know what, you embarrassed yourself here. Why don't you take a seat? I'm going to go, I'm going to leap. Uh, and I can leap two spaces right now. You can leap as far as the open spaces in your gullet, up to four. You can go further, but it, as you might guess, it costs you oomph to do. So I can go two spots. I am going to go, actually, I'm going to kind of do what Mike's been up to, I think. Um, you know what? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leap. I'm going to leap two spaces over to here, just onto a barren tile. That's and it. And that's it. There's one action. Wow. James, go hey, ahead. Hey, it's me again. I'm going to uh, eat the swamp. That's what you do to swamps? And that's what you do to swamps. And I'm going to I think I will leap two over here. Okay. Okay. That, that's your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Did you have to pay for that extra leap? I did. Yeah, don't forget to pay. Uh, I'm going to leap onto this water over here. So it got your turn got pulled up. My turn got pulled up. I got a, yeah, sorry, I should have said that. I got a green card pulled up. Uh, I'm going to leap onto this area, and then I'm going to spend an oomph to eat it. Good job. Next card, blue. All right, I'm going to leap here and harvest another lick. Just going for all the blue tiles, huh? All the blue tiles. Okay. Is that your turn? That's my turn. I, I don't believe you. Okay. I'm going to harvest. 
But yeah, Jimmy, you're probably going to get the, you're going to get a few actions here. Yeah. Um. Considering revealing, huh? Iced mm -hmm. coffee. Mm -hmm. I thought it was like dice in there or something. <laughs> Why would they put dice? I, in I was coffee? gonna ask you. I was about to ask you why you put dice in your coffee. Uh, that's it for now. Okay, next turn. Oh, come on. Oh, look, Jimmy, we've been sitting here for a while. Can you please finally take a turn? I'm gonna recover. Blue again. All right. Jimmy recovers, and I will go. Uh, I also am gonna recover. Mike. Got three cards left in this deck. I think it's gonna be. I think I all might have got. I think it's just you two. Mm, that sounds right. Okay, I'm going to get back on the uh, the old uh, shard, right? Old shardski. Mm -hmm. And you can go anywhere. Okay. To I'm going to continue my aggressive stance in this game and stand here. And then I'm going to take another action to attack Jimmy. Okay. I'm going to reveal that I am the massive frog. Ooh. Okay. So. Um. So I have the ability that anytime anybody reveals their card, I get an oomph back. That's true. Recover that oomph. And um, now we now we go bloop. Yep. I'm going to attack you. I'm going to spend um, so you're going to use a red die. Yes. Because yep, you're fighting on yeah, the massive. So I'm going to use an oomph red, to also use a red die. Red land combat. And then I'm going to spend two oomph to boost it by one. Okay. Now you were going backwards on that. Oh, whoops, you're right. Yep, so you spend all of it. One to steal and then yep. two to boost. One okay, to steal, so you two are to rolling boost. a red die and getting plus one from it. So I'm going to, yeah, red die. Yep. I'm going to spend one oomph to overpower because I'm massive. I can pay one oomph to overpower my combat rolls. So I'll be writing two. two red dice. And then I'm going to spend another two to boost. Okay, so you guys are both getting plus one to your roll, mm -hmm. but James, you're rolling two dice for it. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and roll. Both of your roll. You can, um, Mike, so if you we'll want to roll yours mine. and just remember yours. Yeah, we'll just remember it. Okay, so here's my roll. So it's a four and a six. They already beat me. So, Jimmy, you can roll a second, but it can't. It could go one higher, in theory. Yeah, but, but it, I don't knock him back, right, if I... Correct. You just, this is already... You just so this is five, but five you're, already, you're a seven. A seven. Yep. Yeah. And Jimmy didn't roll a second die, but there's no sense in it. Right. Because you're, you would win with uh, the result you have. So yep. it's just a clash, and that's it. And I stand there yep. now? Yep. Next to him? Correct. Okay. Right. If it's a tie, essentially what, what the text reads is that the attacker has to exceed the result okay. um, of, of the defender, and if he doesn't, then nothing happens. All right. You wait. Essentially, you've wasted a turn. Maybe oomph. Um, that's your penalty. I did. Okay. Sure. End your turn. Not doing anything else. Nope. You don't have any oomph, I guess. So, uh, I'll give you a chance to to, to do something else though. How about I'm gonna regain. My You're new. I'm feeling bad. <laughs> uh, all right. Blue. James. Okay. I'm going to. Hmm. Let's see here. You can leap. I need to spend extra oomph to move. So I have a power that says you can destroy the terrain tile you leap onto this action. Okay. Um, so my gullet's all full. So I think typically you have to spend extra oomph. Or you can't, you're so full right now, yeah. you can't move without spending Can oomph. I just jump up and slam down on the tile I'm on and bust it up with this no, action? No, I think you have to move. So you'd have to go at least one step. Okay. But that might still be the fastest way off the ether for you. Yeah. The cheapest way off the ether. So I'm going to spend... Into the ether. Two oomph, one to move an extra step here, and the second to destroy the terrain tile that I'm landing on. So it would be one oomph to move that tile. It's one for every you exceed. Yep, and this is one oomph to destroy the tile. Oh, oh I, I see. Yep. I, sorry, I thought yep. you were saying you spent two to do the move and then one yep. to do Okay, Just got two it. Two Understood. Yep. So um, I mentioned earlier that the way the game can end is if. These barren tiles, when they get destroyed, you flip them over, and if they have um, fractures, they go here. This is one way these tiles get flipped over, if they get destroyed. Uh, James leaped onto one of them, and so we're going to destroy it, and when we destroy it, we flip it over. In this case, it's blank. Nothing on it. 
and uh, the tile underneath is now there's nothing there, so Jimmy's in the ether. And I typically I like to put dudes down here yeah. when they're in the ether, even though a lot of room there. it's all in the same spot. But yeah, there's a bunch of room here, and that's clear that you're in the ether. Uh, and then that'll be my turn. That's I don't turn. think I have a uh, well to do anything else. I have been sort of looking at these cards, so this is I think going to be uh, Mike's turn, but we'll see. It mm. is Mike. Go ahead. Um, okay. Um, I really want to steal those blue tiles. But you could. could jump out into the ether and fight me. You could jump in the ether and fight. I think I'm going to do that. And in fact, your guy is um, just as good at ether combat as him, but you are very good at raiding that vault. Yes. Yes. And when you hit him into the ether, I believe you can immediately attempt but to. He doesn't have vault. anything in his vault, though. True. So you just yeah, have to hit true. him. I guess you just have to hit him and take it from his gully. Mm -hmm. So you can do that. Too. But you can do that in the ether too. Yep. It's just regular combat. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I gotta move into the ether and then attack. So that's gonna be two mm -hmm. actions. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna move in with one action, and then I'm gonna use a second action to attack you. Um, and then I'm going to do so to overpower is two and to. Boost, boost is two. Boost is two. Yep. So I'm going to do both. So you're jumping in as your first action, spending you're two all my shit. to attack, spending two more to boost, spending two more to overpower. That's right. So I'll you will be rolling two white dice. Two whites. And I will spend one to overpower. Okay. So two white dice for both of you, but Mike's getting mm -hmm. plus one. Mike's got a five total. Great. You only give oh. And Jimmy, you have a two. Very so bad. Mike, you it's a five versus a two, so yes. you beat him by three, uh, okay. which means you are going to knock his dude into the third dimension. Uh, um, my power says knockback. You take in the ether is reduced by two. So, so it'll be the first dimension. Mm -hmm. Still in the outer dimensions. Um, though. Now being, ooh, I, I've not. I meant to save a noob to steal your card. <laughs> But oh, oops. I didn't do it. Um, so I, uh, I've not really explained the outer dimensions, which is this track here. As you, uh, you might have noticed, combat happened in the ether. When you lose on, on land, you get knocked back. You also get knocked back in the ether, but you don't get put onto land. You get knocked out of this dimension, dimension zero, and you get knocked back into these further ones. The distance you get knocked back will be based on the difference between the results. In this case, it was three, but James, your power changed it to one. When you're in the outer dimensions, a couple of things happens. First, you might not get your turn. When your card comes up now, what's going to happen is James is going to roll a die. He's going to roll a white die. And that is how many spaces he advances in the outer dimensions. To get out, he's got to advance from the first dimension back to the, the, the main game board. So in this case, he'll need at least a result of one to get out. And the white die goes zero to five, so there's a chance he stays where he's at. When that happens, you set your action card aside. And when you eventually get out and get to take turns, all of your set-aside action cards allow you to take an action for free. So when you get out, you'll potentially get a whole bunch of extra actions in, in a row. So that's one benefit. You also get all your oomph back when you get out, and you get a new um, frog ability. In fact, it's not that Jimmy gets a new frog ability, it's actually that he loses his one I'm right a frog. Now. So Jimmy's no longer massive, and when he returns, he'll get a new power. Which one of these dimensions is our dimension, do you think? Oh gosh, that's a good question. Well, uh, how many planets are in our solar system again right now? Is it eight at the moment? Yeah, they kicked... Oh no, Pluto's back in. Is it back again? Yeah, Pluto's back into the solar system. Wow, so, so we're, then, it's, then we're the ninth dimension. We're back at nine. The number of planets that are in the oh, dimension. Oh, is that right? That's right. That's that well, because this is a shard, and it's not a full planet, which is why it's dimension zero. And solar systems are, as we all know, dimensions. Yeah, that's just a, an old time. I don't word. know, man. <laughs> the game is subtitled "World Eaters from Dimension Zero. Hmm. This is Dimension Zero. I know. And I'm all, I agree with and that. And they're here. Yeah, but this isn't it. <laughs> this isn't all of Dimension Zero. It might be. There is lore in here. Yeah, there's I know there's this. lore. It's most. It's of pretty it. cool. It's most of it. So, uh, all right. So, um, when you're in Dimension Zero, you lose your turn. You lose your power. Uh, but maybe more direly. And it's not dire at the moment for anyone. But your vault, which is normally inassailable. When you're in Dimension Zero, it can be assailed, and people can raid vaults to steal stuff from it. And again, vaults are how you score points. So, so I get to t take some stuff. Mm -hmm. First, though, you get to take some stuff. Things. Take three items, and you take them from the top bot. Yeah, top give down. me those top three. And they go in your vault in, essentially, they come out and then go in in the order you took them. So in the vault, be, or in my gullet? Sorry, in your gullet. gullet. Into your gullet. Got it. I hate that. So, Jimmy did a bunch of work. 
Mike just came and smacked him upside the head and took it. Mm-hmm. And well, you didn't mm-hmm. smack him upside the head. You stuffed your arm down his yeah. throat. And That's right. I uh, actually thought the last card in there was going to be mine, which yeah, is I took a risky jump into the ether move. Sometimes that's what you got to do. So uh, now that emptied the action deck. So we're going to reshuffle it, but we're going to do actually something else too. We're going to shuffle in these two special action cards, the Splinter Strike and the Ether Flux. When these come up, something's going to happen on the board. Actually, the Splinter Strike is sort of something that advances at the end of the game. It destroys chunks of the board. Uh, and then Ether Flux can change our abilities. Yeah. So these likely are going to get shuffled will. in. They likely will. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle those in, and uh, then we'll go ahead and continue. It's making sense to you, Mike, so far, being your first time playing? Um, I think you're more or less getting it. I think so. I think there's probably something that I'm forgetting. Probably some strategy. Uh, as far as strategy. But I think as far as what I can and cannot do, I mean, it's pretty simple. Like, you simply Good. eat the land. Yeah. And score points. It's pretty simple. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know much about the... You blew up one of the barons, but I don't know how that... Is that just a... You just do that with an ability? And that, that was a power That was, that was the massive ability. How else can you do it? Knock back it destroys tiles. Oh, that's right. But okay. you, when you knock me back, you knock me just into the... Right. Ether. So mm-hmm. if I don't knock you into the ether, it destroys if I If I landed on a tile... Is that the only other way? Um, there are some other frog abilities that'll say, like, destroy a tile. Aside from abilities. Yeah, and and the then the card I just shuffled into here, the Splinter Strike. Oh, yeah. We're gonna, when it comes up, you draw from the Splinter Strike if location you, deck. And if you see these little, like, um, hexes that are, like, orange. Yeah, they have, like, an orange border. Yeah. Got it. It'll that, destroy everything around there. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. So, that, and it, that, can, that's it hurts you if you're in there. Yeah, it, if, if it hits you directly, it, like... Yeah does bad stuff to you. If it hits you indirectly, it does less bad stuff, but still not cool. You cool. don't want to get hit by comets, even if you so are like a two-mile frog. I so kind of want to get hit by comets. Right. Seems okay. like a good way to go. So we're shuffled up. Let's go ahead and draw. It is Blue's turn. Blue. James, you thought that you were going to get the last one, but you didn't. However, you won the first one. I'm out. So Jimmy rolled a die. He got a three, and so he will now make it out of Dimension Zero. You get all your oomph back, and you get that ability. All right. Do we get a turn? Um, and yes, and then you, uh, oh, you know what? That's actually a good question. I for, I remember being unclear about that at one point. I think getting out might be your turn. Uh, let's see. So when you return to Dimension Zero, your frog is in play. You get a random ability and get all your oomph. Uh, you choose whether to put your frog on the ether or def- descend into the shard. So descend to a barren tile mm-hmm. or be in the ether. Your choice right now. Um, you set aside action cards. You didn't have any. And then... Um, if you returned via die roll, you can spend two oomph to take an extra action before you take required actions using set aside action cards. So no, you do not get an action. But you can spend, spend you can do an extra. I am the Empyrean, oh who's really good at fighting in the ether. And oh I'm getting my sweet, sweet revenge. Oh boy. Uh, you flipped a card so I get an oomph. That's true. Um, okay, I'm going to punch Mike real hard. Cool. I'm going to spend... Uh, two to overpower. Okay. So I'll roll two reds. So you're going for two reds, Mike. You have. I'm going to pen one to to roll the same red. For okay. my ability. Sure. Sounds good. We'll go ahead. Yeah, so first roll your two. Let's do some rolling. Jimmy, uh, you just did the two dice, or did you do just the two? Well? Okay, so Jimmy got a four. Go ahead and roll that. Oh, this is it. This is it, baby. Can you beat the four? You better hope you can. Ah, uh, you cannot. So can close, not. though. So Very Mike, close. Mike got a three. Jimmy got a four. So Jimmy can steal one of those, uh, one of those things back from Skelly. Mm-hmm. Very confrontational game. Yep. I also um, does regain he, one oomph when I win an ether combat. Does he punch me into there? And oh, yes, yeah. he does. So uh, he beat you by one. He gets back to the first dimension. However, you lose your power, <laughs> and uh, all your oomph will come back when you. When you are returned, all right. I came out ahead. Don't forget. Well, James gets to go ahead. Take another turn. Um, I'm gonna raid Mike's vault. Okay, let's do a vault raid. So vault raids are probably the most complex action in this game. Uh, You can uh, steal stuff from people's vaults when you do that. I know. You know what? He doesn't have a. I. I want his land. You want? I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can't take that till it comes back. I. He does have stuff in his vault. I don't want. Okay, well, never mind that. I will explain raid actions when they come up later. Yeah. No one wants to hear about your raid actions. <laughs> raid Shadow Legends. All right. I'm going to land on this Raid Shadow Legend. All right. Not that one. 
blue frog and the blue hex. Oh my god. Can you can you help out my I frog here? Um it's a bit of a reach. So you are right here. And I'm going to Uh, instead of landing there, I'm actually going to stay in the ether and disgorge. Okay. So we just spin stuff out into your vault. Yep. All right. Next turn. Um, and then I'll take an extra action to land. Okay. Land on that spot. Yep. All right. Green. That's me. So I can move a bit. Uh, I have all my oomph. I am going to eat this up. And then I'm going to spend before oomph to jump into there. I'm going to play it safe, though. I see people getting beat up. Um, I see you're close to me. Though I have better land combat than you. So um, I, that's, that is going to be my turn. I'm just going to eat, eat that piece and call it a day. All right, Aetherflux. Aetherflux has come up. Now we each have to make a choice here with the Aether, Aetherflux card. Either we do uh, nothing and we get a new ability. We get rid of our, our current one and get a new ability card. We can spend, uh, I think it's one, uh, one oomph to resist mutation to keep our current ability, or we can spend two oomph to get a new ability card and then choose to keep that one or uh, our old one. So I don't have an ability card, so so you I am you're, going you're to not considered just... in play right now, and so oh, so it man. doesn't affect me. Does not affect you. I'm going to spend yeah, the one to affects. resist it. This Empyrean, pretty cool. He's on the, you know, on the box. This is the titular cosmic frog. He is. I the actually, canonical frog. You know what? I kind of like mine too, for being honest. I got to be gross, but about titular. I'm also going to spend a new to resist. Uh, all right, next card. That's got all you do. You don't even have to roll. You just spend a new. Spend a new. Stupid. <laughs> um, it's my turn. You just want to see us not get what we want. Yeah. Yes. Uh, how so do we get out of here? Roll, yeah, roll one a, white die. Uh, a white die. Why does it gotta be white? You stay where you're at. What? Why? And we set aside his action card. Right? And then your action card gets set aside. What's happening? You're stuck. You can't get out. And Why so, is it set aside? Because when you do get out, you will get to take action one action for every card set aside. So when when you do get out, you might get to take a whole bunch of actions in a row. So I don't get to do anything. I'm just stuck in That's right. there. That's the outer dimensions, baby. Uh, when you have two cards set aside, you can actually choose to forego those two actions instead of rolling a die to just get out. Got it. Okay. But to, for, in my opinion, it's better to just roll for it. Yeah, yeah, especially when you're right. There. Especially yeah, from if you were like all the way in the back. I would agree. Blue, James. That's me. Um, okay, I'm going to. Um, well, harvest. All right, eat up. Get another one of those uh, those lakes, right? That's right. Anything else? You don't have any. Nope. Oops. So, Splinter. Look at that. Both action cards, pretty close together. So, Splinter cool. Strike. We're gonna draw. I shuffled these up. The top of the Splinter Strike is the location right there. So now what we need to do is we need to, uh, so I drew this card, it's got the uh, sort of layout of the, the shard on here, and it's got one highlighted area. And so what I need to do is destroy the cent everything in the centerpiece, so if it had a whole stack of things, they all get destroyed. And then the top piece from every surrounding one. So it's going to be most of them in this case, but one thing will survive here. So, so we can just move this, and then just, and then just yeah, get just rid of that. all of that. So this, 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 this. And this. So I got two of those fractures I mentioned, and they go into the shard integrity track. The rest of these are removed. So we are now one third of the way to the shard integrity track getting filled up, and then the game immediately ends and we score points. Which it can happen really quickly oh, if there's like, fast. you know, five in the same spot. Like, yeah. It's very possible that the next one could end, end the, game. the game. Yeah, because you, um, you could potentially blow up, what, seven tiles? Right. And you only need four of them to be shards. There are 20 uh, fractures put into here right now. So Yeah. It's unlikely. I think but it's, it's I think it's twenty. That sounds right. Um, all right. Feels right. Let's draw again. Green, it's me. I'm happy about that. Alright, I'm gonna leap into the ether. Loop right into the ether, hang it out there, and then I will spend two oomph to disgorge us all into my gullet. Or into my uh, vault. So let's do this, this, 
Uh, this, that. Mm, no, let's actually put these like that. That's better. Okay, uh, that's my turn. Next turn. Hey, it's me again. Lucky. Uh, I'm gonna go land here. And I will take a second action to quickly eat that up. Does the second action cost two? Or just Not for the Marauder. Oh, the Marauder. If my second action is harvesting or raiding, I just grab it okay. for one. All right, and yellow, Mike. So now I gotta roll again. You can roll again, yeah. And you got a one, so you get out. Perfect. So you pop out. Just enough. Here's your new ability. Okay, you get all your oomph back. You get all your oomph back, and because we had set aside one yellow action card, you can immediately take a free action. And then, because you got out with a die roll, you can roll two dice to, or not roll two dice, spend two oomph to take an extra action. So you can still take two actions this turn, if you want. Did, I, did any of that make sense? You look confused. Um, the first yellow card was the roll to get out. Correct. That's it. That move's done. That's it. I have the backed up yellow card, which now I'm about to do. Yep. And I can spend oomph to play, do it. Because you got out with a die roll. I don't have any oomph. You do you get, get all, all the back, back when you get oh. out. When you get out, you get it all back. Very good. Yeah, you get a new ability, you get all your oomph. So basically you're starting over. Okay. And then you can either start your turn in the ether or on an outside shark. I can choose to, to yep. jump. It's, it's kind of like the start of the game, except you can also be in the ether if you want. Okay. Um, it's got to be a barren spot. See what my ability is. Uh, there are a lot of abilities in this game, a lot of cool ones too. I know at one point Jim Felly was talking about doing an expansion for this game, which included like psychic combat or something. Um, I don't know, I, I assume it's still in development. I know there's some variant stuff that we haven't really used before too uh, that's are. in the base game. Yeah, the game does include some variant play. Uh, Harmonious land and things like yeah, that. Yeah, like some of these, they're printed on the back. Yeah, like a, if it's abundant, it's like worth more or something, or worth less. We, we, no, we've not done yeah. any of those variants. Um, all right, so I'm going to land... Uh, no, I'm going to disgorge, I guess. Okay, so your, your first action is, is spitting stuff out. Yeah, um, let me look at the scoring here. Where is the scoring? Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's on that side. And the, the values are on your uh, vault Oh, over this here. one, yeah. This is what I was looking at. So highlands are worth more than Same lowlands. lands in the straight line. And then uh, variety that you okay. have. And uh, when it says straight line, by the way, diagonals are counted. So okay. the most you can have an alliance for. Okay. Um, so I'll disgorge. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I have to do it in the order of this thing. Correct. That sucks. So I'm not going to disgorge. I'm going to go here. Ooh, right next to Jimmy? No, he doesn't have the right thing. Here, right next to you. Now, you, uh, you have to land on the outside. Oh, so for me. So you can land like yeah. there. Uh, and then I'm going to spend two. So you could have just started here. You can still have your free action. Oh. So your first yes. action, don't have to spend anything. Okay, so I'm going to attack you. Okay, so you're going to leap onto me from there. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, do you want to reveal your ability? You don't have to. If you um, don't, what do I if you roll don't, if you I roll don't? White dice. So it can only benefit you to reveal for dice, but it can never like. I'm gonna reveal, and not for the dice, but for one of the uh, one of the actions. Okay. One of the. Things. Temporis. Yeah, okay. so I can skip my turn and set my action card aside if I want, and then if uh, if it comes down to where there's no more cards left, I have to use that action card. But I can also, if I set aside an action card, I can use an oomph to put it on the top of the action deck, so I can decide when I want to go, basically. Interesting. Does that okay. make sense? Like I put it away, and then I spend an oomph and go. I'm next. Cool. So are you, are you trying to do that now? No. Okay. What I am going to do use is target frog re-rolls all the dice they rolled. Ooh, okay. But that, we'll see if they need so, that. And for the record, you can target yourself. So you can make me re-roll or Oh, you. nice. Okay, perfect. 
So um, let me go to the And here. from, I, I can't see the text in it, but I think that also might imply that you can make people you're not involved with reroll. Um, can I do that not on my turn? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, I don't know. But, um, I, so I jumped here, just for people's reference, I jumped here, and I'm going to uh, punch him. All right. So I roll a white die, and I'm I going to spend, it takes two oomph to boost it. Yep, so mm -hmm. plus one. Where does this go to? This goes to five. It goes zero to five, so now it's effectively one to and six. And then I'm going to spend two oomph to double it. Okay. And you could spend oomph to continue to boost it if you wanted. Yeah, so I'm just going to... Is it two again? Yep. Mm -hmm. it's two Actually, I'm just going to do two to boost it again. So it's getting plus two. I'm just going to do plus yourself. two. I'm not going to do okay. pl another die. I, um, can, I believe in this roll. Wow, so that's yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good roll. I'm just going to take a risk, I think. I'm just going to take a risk and make, make this roll. Okay. So <laughs> you're at a two and I'm at a five. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to use an oomph. Okay. To have, mm, yeah, I need like a both of us to reroll here. I'm gonna use them to have me I think reroll. You, I think you could probably. Can I do it more than once? I'm sure you can. I, I don't think it's limited. So I'm gonna do enough to make us both reroll, but I'm gonna do me first. Okay, so go ahead. And maybe I'll get a five. You didn't. <sighs> you, got, you got, you got, you got a marginally better result <laughs> from a zero to a one. I'm going to spend another oomph to reroll and try to get a five. Because you, what's your lowest you can get? A one. one. You can get a one? Yeah, that's one to six. That's a rough result. That's a rough reroll. Really in a bad spot now. Also reminds me of um, Cryptic Explorers, where you were spending yeah, stamina to reroll yeah, and getting like the same result. Doing it again. I'm going to do <laughs> another one. Yeah, that's honestly And try to get a here. five. Oh. Back to a zero. <laughs> Rolled another zero. Uh, you spend a lot of oomph, if that makes you feel any better, which it shouldn't. Uh, it doesn't, so. Uh, so you can use your abilities on any player's turn, and you can do them multiple times, but you have to spend oomph every time. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> a bummer, man. Yeah, that, that's my that, turn. That, honestly, so. for that, that reroll, that was actually a tough spot, because... Yeah. I rolled almost the highest that I could, and you rolled the lowest you could. Mm -hmm. So, like, what? What? What you do? He did have a, you know, the odds were one in three favor, chance of beating that. So I stay but. where I'm at, and you don't have any oomph, so um, you can't take a second action. The yellow frog kind of looks like Jar Jar. <laughs> the yellow frog looks like Jar Jar. Yeah, like the model. <laughs> I don't agree. Looks yeah, cool. It's looks little, way cooler little, than Jar Jar ish. Way cooler than Jar. Yeah, I'm just gonna recover. Yeah, blue action came up, so James is going to recover. All right, uh, yellow. Mike, you want you want a chance at redemption here? Uh, yeah. You, you don't have any sort of frog but... nap. Yeah, I mean, I have to. First... And you, you could also choose to not take your turn right now because um, yeah, because right. your ability. Yeah, actually, what I'm going to do. Well, no, I had you don't have to do that. No, I don't actually. No, that's your freebie. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that actually. Um, I'm going to put that aside. Okay, so what does it say again? You it says you uh, you skip your turn and set aside your action card. It's and set then aside. I've done it. If uh, you have an action card set aside when your next turn comes up or the action deck runs out, you okay. must discard that action card and take a turn before play can continue. So, actually... Okay. It, so if your card comes up... I'm going to get two in a row. You'll get two in a row. Yes, and I'm, gonna, I'm going to opt for that. Sure. Okay, great. Take two in a row. I <laughs> just drew your card again. <laughs> yeah, if I were gonna sit there and think okay. about what to do, and, uh, yeah, I was gonna. I don't, I don't think so. Okay, well, first thing I'm gonna do. So now I have to do both of them. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, rest. Okay, so that's your action that turn, and then, and then the next action I'm going to do is I'm going to attack Scott. All right, jumping right into me again. Jumping right into him. So uh, I, I get my will, yellow. Uh, I will spend two. You gonna boost it twice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna boost it. I'm, I'm going to do it to add a dice. Because I think okay. that benefits my reroll. I think so. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it says you reroll all dice? All, all your dice. Yeah. So yeah, I think definitely. that benefits a reroll. I should have so, done that the last time. So, so there you go. This is better. Uh, uh, so I will not spend anything. I don't have much oomph. I don't want to preserve it. All right. I got a four. You got a five. Bingo. All right. Do you want me to reroll my dice? Why don't you reroll your dice? You could have him re-roll uh, if you really want to knock him back. I don't want to re-roll. And you only want his one, the one thing in his gun, um, right? Yeah, I mean, this is kind of the ultimate. I guess I could have him re-roll. I mean, 
There's a chance I lose, though. There's a chance you lose, and what, like, why, why are you trying to knock me back further anyway? I don't know. That's the question. Hurt you. It wouldn't hurt me more. Yeah, I know. Uh, so, but you are going to knock back one, right? Correct. And so you, can, you'll, you can steal this. So we'll blow that up. So I'm going to steal that. And then you knock me one into this space. It gets destroyed. It is not a fracture. Mm -hmm. But I end up in either. Okay. And then I'm going to... And I go on to your space. Yep. And then I'm going to spend two... get into the ether, right? Mm -hmm. Then I can do it? Yep. So next turn, you could action leap to the ether, extra action disgorge. Right. I'm going to stay where I am for now. Let's be cool. All right. I'm going to be a cool guy. Green. Now you're the cool guy. Now I'm the cool guy. Be green with envy by the fact that I get to go now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am going to... He well, stole the thing that I really wanted because that would have made me a siphon. So I think I need to start worrying about points, maybe, more than just siphons. Um, I'm just going to go grab I'm going to land up on here on the uh, this little stack of water stuff. And I will spend one extra action to eat the top. And I'll draw another card. Blue. Great. I'm going to harvest. And then leap into the ether. All right. Yellow, Mike. Okay. Um, As a point of reference, I think in the times I've played this, I've gone through the action deck three times sounds before right. the game's ended. So figure three to four times that we're, we're about to be through it the second time. I'm going to set mine outside again. Set your action card aside? I'm going to set, set a, use my ability to set the action card aside and they'll do All it. Right, well, then I get to go. Uh, I will devour this. And then, hmm. What are you thinking? If I want to jump in there now, because I don't have enough oomph to do jump and, and disgorge next turn, but Jimmy's hanging out there, and he has enough oomph to smack me and then spit his stuff out yeah, of you me. You don't have enough oomph to take a second action, unless it's harvest. That's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. saying I don't have enough to take a second action. Yeah. So, um, oh, because I ate this turn. Right. Right. No, yeah, what, what am I thinking? Yellow. All right, Mike, two turns. So now I get two turns, and that's the best. Um, so I'm going to go out into the ether. Okay. Now, also at the point, though, I'm not saying you want to do this, but just so you, everyone's aware, you can, um, if you switch to the top view here, uh, you're on this shard space right here, and there's a blank area in between. You can just like jump across this. Okay. This is you count this as a hex you're moving over, but you could you can just leap across these sections. So you I'm doing you it don't to disgorge. Like... So. Okay, so you're in the ether. Okay, and then I'm going to spend um, another two to do a up. second action. Okay. Um, and you want to line up. You want to line up the same ones. Yes, it's the yeah. exact same tiles for for inlines. So I'm gonna actually put this like over here. Okay. And disgorge all three. Oh, look at you! So now I have a siphon going. Now you have a siphon. So now uh, every time you take a, a turn, now. you get to. Uh, I, have, I put three on down, lowland, highland, lowland. You have in one spot. It's the same. And now I get an oomph Category. back per per, act, per turn. Per per time your action mm -hmm. comes up, and so you get to. So get now one back my right second now. turn, I get one back. Um, I'm going to uh, land here and spend two more oomph to devour. Okay. So land and then eat up. And that is my turn. Green. This has been a very even turn. It's been mm -hmm. kind of uh, yeah. once or twice. All right. I am going to... Right. Oh, <laughs> uh, I am going to go ahead, I think. Like, I wasn't there. <laughs> I got to play it safe. I don't have much in my vault, but I'm going to play it safe and recover. Blue, final turn. I'm going to disgorge. 
reshuffle his deck. And then... Get yourself a siphon going as well. Got myself a siphon going. Yeah, I'm trying to get one. Stew. Um, i going to land here. Okay. That's your turn. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. First card up. Yellow. Okay. Um. I'm gonna set it aside. Okay. For those of you uh, watching this right now either live or playing or in the comments. Uh, have, have you played this game? Or if, if not, um, why not? Is, is it a game you're interested in? Why not? Why the heck not? Came out what, last year, I think, right? Uh, blue. Right. James. I'm going to harvest uh, first. I'm going to move. And then I'm going to harvest. I'd also be curious to hear from people that have played other Devious Weasel titles um, and how, how they compare to this. I've, I've played some Shadows of Malice. I need to play it a little more. I and think a slipstream is over here, um, okay. which cost me no oomph uh, or no extra oomph. No extra oomph. So slipstreaming is when you you can jump off of the shard and then kind of sling around to land on any other outside shard space. It costs you oomph normally, but James, your ability lets you do it for free. How much does it cost you normally? A One. single oomph. And uh, that's me. Okay, great. Harvested and slipped. Yellow. Slipped. Take, Sorry. Your, take your two turns. All right, so I'm going to... Get an oomph back first. Get an oomph back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And actually, you should have gotten one before, I, I think, because it says you get an oomph when your card is turned up. So you should have gotten one on that first one turned up, and now the second one came up. And then uh, I'm going to slipstream. Okay. Actually, no, no, no. What I'm going to do, what I'm gonna do mm -hmm. is devour. If you want to switch to the board here. Uh, oh, yeah. You're right. I'm on you for some reason. Um, so I devoured the one here. Okay. The yellow one. Got it. Then I'm going to slipstream to here. Okay. Does um, that make sense? Yep, it does. You just have to land on an outside hex. Um, then for my second turn. Yep. No, actually, then I'm going to spend another turn. Uh, I'm going to spend two to do an extra turn. Well, you, you did, didn't you? Didn't you eat and then you slipstreamed? Mm-hmm. So that's two actions. Oh. Yep. So yep. now you get your second turn. So now my second turn, I'm going to recover. To recover. Okay. Great. Uh, I, Mike, you do. Go ahead and take another turn. <laughs> if you want, you can also pass. Um, Set it aside. Yeah, I think I'm going to do my turn. Okay. So, so I'm going to eat eat that forest. Eat that forest. I'm going to spend two to do s another thing. Okay, that's not an action. Uh, another thing is not an official action. <laughs> well, I'm going to choose what the other thing is in a second here. Um, I'm going to spend two to do another action, and the other action is going to be eat another one. Okay, so eight one, eight another. Is that your turn? That is my turn. Okay, well, I take another turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to... And you get a noof back, too. Get a noof back. I'm going to jump into the ether, and then I'm going to spend two to barf. Bleh. To barf into my vault, so I go... And I want to line these up now. Mm -hmm. One. Yep. But you could also make a second siphon. With you that. could. Then you'll get two oomph back every uh, time your card is drawn up. That is good. But you are, again, potentially costing yourself points. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then that's it, right? Because I did an extra turn. You I moved in and I barfed. So I'm done. Yet. 
Uh, you can continue on. Just keep going. Just keep Very playing. Good. You know what? You know, I did a I did a solo stream of this game before, and I'm, and I'm kind of feeling like I want to see you do a solo Wait, stream of it. So listen, this is now my game. <laughs> I think those are all your actions, though, or maybe. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five is one. So I get a so I get an oomph back. Yep. You get uh two. two. You have two siphons. That's right. You get two of back. Okay, perfect. So now you're in a spot which I mentioned earlier, where you can be guaranteed a chance to take a second turn mm -hmm. every time. I'm going to do my action to land. I'm going to. Hmm. Whenever I think of like barfing, I always think <laughs> of which I, all the time. Every, all the time. Oh, like, you're always think, thinking about it. I know. I that. think of there's a scene in Hodorowski's Dune the documentary, where he's talking about the Harkonnen, um, like, base, like, castle, which is in the shape of, you know, Baron Harkonnen, and he talks about how he, he wanted, when ships land at the castle, the, the big Baron's tongue comes out, and then it lands on there, and then it gets it pulled back in to, like, take the ship into the castle. But when he does that, when he says <laughs> the tongue lines, goes, bleh. And then he goes, yeah. and, then, and then the tongue comes back in the mouth. And I like that. I just, it makes me think of barfing. And I so, like that. Um, Podoroski's is living in my, the barf section of my brain. Yeah. We got a dog on camera now. Maybe I haze a little bit. Benji. Come here, bud. Can you make it over there, pal? Come here, buddy. Yeah, he's going to pull out all the cords. Good boy. <laughs> just, um, I'll get him on the camera after I'm done. So I am going to go here. Cosmic dog. Cosmic dog. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go there. I'm going to spend. Go forest, buddy? I'm going to spend two to eat. Okay. So that's your turn. Um, and then that's my turn. Yep. Blue. Oh my God. Broke the cycle of the mic <laughs> taking turns. All right. I'm going to eat this mountain. And then I'm going to slipstream over Other mountain, mountain two. I get a new <laughs> back, but then I spend a five. Hey, Benj. Dog. <laughs> Barely Just a little snap. Just a head. Splinter strike. Splinter strike. What we got? It is... Uh, right there? This. Oh, yes, on that side. It's this one right here. This location. So, this one gets destroyed. Nothing. 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 And nothing. Wow. And then this mountain up top goes away. Whenever a Splinter Strike in this game destroys like a, like a, a bunch of blank tiles, it always just feels like I'm I'm waiting for the yeah, inevitable The next one is going to be five. And the game's gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, it is now my turn. I'm waiting for it. Uh, all right, I'm going to hop into the ether. As my first action, then second one is disgorging. I'm gonna make myself a siphon, a little siphon sandwich, and then drop this right there. And uh, that's my turn. One, two, green. I get to go again. Okay. Uh, I am going to attack James. I actually guess I should get an oomph back because I have a siphon. Uh, Jimmy, I'm attacking you on this land. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and roll. I get my yellow die. You get a white die, and I will spend. Yellow versus a white. I will spend two in order. You know, actually, I'm going to hit you from this side. So I'm going to knock you this way. Uh, and I'm going to spend two to add one to my result. Are you spending okay. anything? You don't nope, have anything. I don't have anything. You got a three. I got a six plus one is seven. Do you um, like my mountains? Yes, I do want your mountains. Blink, blink. And so... I'm pretty surprised. It's actually a like, question. Mono isn't like a big problem in this cosmic frog thing. They're all <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it's an out, issue. Making out, yeah. spit swapping. Uh, so I, I smack like you issue. into the ether then, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm gonna take a second action to smack you into the outer dimensions. So you're not? Don't you leap onto my tile? Oh, you're right. I do. You're right. I do. I wish I didn't. I my idea in my head. And unfortunately, you can come back into the ether. Uh, if fight my, if, like a man. If, if my card comes out, so uh, all right, next card is green. Hey, <laughs> it's it's me. I'm gonna hop out into the ether. Um, Are you gonna attack his vault? Is that the? No, you know you have really good ether combat. That's right. Uh, so King I actually frog, they call me. I'm actually just gonna eat this mountain. Or do I want to? Hmm. 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 
I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to hop into the ether, and then my second action is going to be um, spitting it up. So we're going to go bloop, and bloop, double bloops. Is that where I want to, yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay, uh, that's that's my turn. Ho ho, but I get to go again. Mm -hmm. uh, I get an oof, and I could attack you, get plus one, and then you have a slight advantage, and then I can raid you. That'd be a big turn. Uh, I could help you with a reroll if you properly. I don't know if there's any way to like incentivize people helping. You out. Well, so you can see from the ether to an outside hex, but I don't think it's the other way around. I don't know that you can see into the ether. So what do you mean see? There's a, there's a seeing that's part well, of this? Well, yeah, because your thing is you target someone, and to target them, they have to be in your line of sight, which is just, like, uh, a straight line. You, you don't like zigzag. It's from, like, here to this straight line or this straight line, but you can't see to here. Huh. So you got to be able to target I feel lights. like you're overthinking that. I don't think there's sight rules in this game for targeting. There is. You have to be able to target, you have to be able to target dudes. It says target in red. Yeah. I mean, I could, I could be might, off a little bit be on, on the exact detail, um, but there is targeting. Uh, targetable. When you're on the shard, a shard hex is targetable if it is on one of your target lines. Hmm. And your target lines are those six directions. Yeah, so I have to be on uh, one of the target. targets in the ether. It, when you are in the ether, a shard hex is targetable if it's adjacent to the ether, and a frog is targetable if it is either in the ether or on a shard hex adjacent to the ether. Well, I am right. adjacent to the ether. Yeah. You are. Could I target so, into yes. the so, ether? Yes, you could. You, it's, it seems like you can target me then, which means you could then offer rerolls. So I can't give you anything. I know, which is a bummer. You I, wish I, I wish you could because I have the ability to incentivize me. But to I, smack. I do want you to smack him into the into the next dimension. So. Okay. Sure, I will then. I'll say maybe I'll give you rerolls. So last turn was hopping, disgorging. Mm -hmm. This turn I will start by hitting. Okay. Um, I will spend both of these to boost my die result, I think, by one. So it'll be a white die plus one. Effectively a yellow die. Okay. All right. It's a four versus your five. five. Uh, four plus one, so tied. Doesn't okay. matter still, but I just I, if I had any more oomph, I can re-roll one of my die, but I don't have any oomph. Okay. Okay, so nothing happens there. Next uh, turn. Defender wins ties. I win. Did I win ether combat? Uh, you did. I can give you a reroll. You could allow me to reroll. It's true. Would you like to reroll? I yeah, absolutely. I'll reroll. You kidding me? Yeah, let's knock him into the fucking dimension. All right, so you're at five. It's not or would there. it make sense to make him reroll? Because he rolled like the top end of his die. Yeah, that's my thought. I don't know which I one's also, better. I think having him reroll because he only has he rolled the middle basically. He can go to a six or a seven. I can only go up to a five. This is the second best result I can get. All right, Jimmy, reroll. You got even higher. <laughs> oh, well. All right, so yes, you win ether combat. Um, Son of a B. And that's the end of my turn. And now it's Yellow's turn. All right, get here we two, go. Two I'm going to put, put it off until later. Okay, so get one oomph. Or two oomph right now. Two oomph. Because you get it when your card is drawn. Yeah, I'm full. You're also re 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 reversed it again. The bottom is expended. Oopsies. Green. All right, I get an oomph. Dare I attack again? <laughs> Are you gonna give me a reroll if I attack again? Uh, maybe. I actually could reroll on my own. Um, we'll see. No, I don't have enough oomph right now. I'm gonna land here. And that's it, that's my turn, just landing. Uh, you know what, no, I can eat too. I'm gonna land and eat. So it'll cost me one to eat. Blue, what are you doing, James? You coming up for revenge? I might. Hmm. Okay, so uh, uh, Jim is in the chat and he did. He actually uh, clarified something here. When you were knocked back up here, uh, you got knocked into the ether, you actually would have continued because it was seven spaces. So you would have been knocked back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. So, so it kind of, I, I actually, I should have known that because I said earlier you can just hop over these as though they are land. So same when you're getting Yeah, that checks out. So we blame you. It's my yeah. fault. My bad. Actually, yeah. can you point that out on the thing again? I wasn't on the thing. But. Yeah, so uh, earlier I, I hit the blue frog when he was on, uh, on this hex and I knocked him back and he went into the ether, I said, because there's a blank space here. But he actually should have kept going because he got knocked back seven spaces. 
So it would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now you would have actually been knocked into the ether anyway. Because it would have destroyed, destroyed, destroyed this. It would have destroyed this. Cool. Yeah, we just would have had an extra destroyed one, right? Uh, okay. I, 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 believe, I believe that is what Jim is suggesting. I'm going to land here. Also, hello, Comic Crack. Thank you for, uh, thank you for stopping by. And... Uh, I'll spend two to harvest this mesa. Jump that mesa up. Okay. Blue. I'm going to get a get an oomph back as well. Get an oomph back as well. I'm going to slipstream to this mesa. Okay. So it costs you your oomph. No. Oh no, because you're free, you're right? Yep. You're right. You got the free move. Uh, you know what? Pure in. Uh, yeah, I'll just slip, slip stream over here. Okay. All right. Who's next? <laughs> well, if you can believe it, it's Jimmy. I right, get a noob back. I'm gonna eat that mesa, and then I will spend these two to jump into the ether. All right. Green, it's my turn. I get a oomph. And I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm just gonna recover. Just gotta feel good about myself, you know? Hold on, hold on. Before you put that, uh, I saw it. I was gonna put mine on the top, but. Well. well. Is that okay? I wanna put mine on the top. I'm gonna spend an oomph to put my. I'll, sh I'll say this is fair because I shuffled these two <laughs> remaining cards, and right. you could, you in theory, know what is left in there. Right. You so the order. Uh, I get to spend a move to put my my card that I set aside onto the top. And who's gonna go next? Now, I, now we know who's gonna go next. It's blue. Okay, great. <laughs> um, so yellow. now I get to go. It's yellow. I am going to jump into the ether. Mm -hmm. Spend two to attack. You got your two. Oh, uh, and I right? also get two, so I'm gonna then use those two okay. to do another action and attack Jimmy. Okay. Um, so you're you're rolling a yellow die. So I get a yellow. Jimmy's rolling a red die. I'm going to spend um, two to add another yellow die. Okay, so you're rolling two, taking the higher. James, you don't have anything to spend. Mike got a five. Jimmy got a six. Okay, uh, I'm going to have you re-roll. Because that is the second highest result he could have gotten. Yeah. So, <laughs> that, that's the highest result he could have yeah. gotten. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> it's the second time. Uh, it's the second, that is the second time you have had someone re-roll a die I, and I they've gotten one better. Because I won. I can't believe you rolled a seven. <laughs> that's one of the, I had a one in six chance. <laughs> what, what is, what's what a waste. Really uh, flip the next card. Blue. I'm attacking Mike. <laughs> uh oh. Get a new back, yeah. uh, James. I get a new back. Okay. It's yellow versus red, Jimmy. Are you spending anything? Um. You've been rolling yeah, for like I'm max gonna, numbers here, so. Well, let's see. What is your spell you can uh, reroll re a Reroll a raid die. Yeah, I'm just gonna. You know what? First, I'm going to disgorge. I like to put before these things attack, before I attack. Then I'm going to spend these two. To attack, Mike. So you're gonna, no one's paying anything. Mike got a four. James, you got a seven again. My goodness. Get Rolls, out of here. Rolling very so well that's today. A, that's a three difference. Mike is knocked into the third dimension. And I can take a free raid action, right? Yep. You can either take from his gore, uh, his gullet, or you can do a raid oh, I action. I don't want this. I don't want what's in the. So you do a free raid action. Yeah. So he's in the third dimension. Mike, you lose your uh, ability. You lose all, all your stuff, but um, it's just your ability. And. Uh, you have to set a... So here, let me explain the raid action, because I have not explained it up to this point. So, when you do a raid action, you can raid someone's vault when they're in the outer dimensions. And you may set, you must set, in fact, a target um, like raid value. And the value is, at most, the dimension they're in. So James is in the third dimension, so he can set a value of 1, 2, or 3. What the value is referencing is the value of the pieces in Mike's vault. The smaller tiles, the lowlands, are worth one point. doesn't matter what's on the face. If they're a lowland, it's one point. And the highlands are worth two points. So Jimmy can set up to a three-point value. 
He then rolls a die based on what his card color says for rolling raid dice for Empyrean White. So it's the worst die. Uh, he must exceed his target value. So if he sets the value at three, he must roll a four or a five on that die. Um, I don't roll. You do not roll. Uh, if uh, if Jimmy succeeds, he then takes tiles from Mike's vault up to the value that he set. So up to three points worth of tiles he takes from the vault. There is some restriction as well about what you can take, but um, broadly that's it. Uh, I'm just going for two points. Um, two if points. you're rolling as any indication of thus far, you'll be uh, you'll have no problem. And he gets a reroll too. Two points. He can spend an oof for a reroll, and he got a four. So Jimmy, you got a four versus your two target. So now what you can take from here is up to two points worth. So you could take... Um, Ooh, I could break both of his siphons. You could break his siphons. So I said there's a restriction on what you can take. If you start to take from a, a single stack, you have to empty that stack before you can take anything else. That's right. So if you take this, you then have to take that next. But that's three points yeah. that you couldn't do. So, so I'm just going to take this mason. You're just taking one. So, I, so I, 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 I agreed with you that you could break the siphon. You actually yeah. could not right now. Um, all right. But all right. And that is my turn. That is your turn. Last action is the Ether Flux. Uh, so, Mike is in the outer dimensions. You don't get to participate. Except him last time. Jimmy, you can either get rid of your card or spend one oomph to maintain it. And then we I haven't seen a lot of the frogs. We've not. I've held the Marauder all game. Yeah. I actually might be. I, I like the Marauder because he can um, reroll his combat dice and harvest for free. Yeah. I'm gonna have cheap, to. For cheap. I'm gonna have to. Um, Resist here just because I'm in the ether and I roll a red die. And you're very so good at ether combat. Yeah. I'm good at ether combat. I think I may actually not resist. I'm going to lose my Marauder card in the interest of seeing something else. Even though I, Marauder is one of my favorite. You could have, you could spend two and get the. But I, I have pick. I have some. You got big plans. I have some goals plans for your... a little bit, so I'm going to draw a new card. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. Shuffle that bag. Shuffle these up. This, this will be the third time the deck has been fresh. And again, my previous games, I think three, maybe four, has been how long it has. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm calling it. All of these are... Yeah, it's all seven of those are going to get hit and then the game. I like the first Actually, draw. most of our shard spots are particularly vulnerable. This one's vulnerable, yeah. yeah. Yeah, a splinter strike could absolutely end the game. There and here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see what happens. Ether flux. <laughs> so I was, was kind of hoping yeah. it was going to be split no. strike and just end. Uh, ether flux. I don't have the oomph to. So there it goes. Who am I now? Um, I actually am also going to lose mine. You didn't even like it. It was fine. It was fine. Um, ooh, this one, I like, I like this guy, though. Cool. All right, next card, green. It's me, baby. Uh, I am going to... I'm actually going to reveal mine. Blink. Blink is a guy that can move around pretty freely, which is nice. So at the start of my turn, if I'm on a shard hex, I can, for free, just move to an adjacent shard hex. Um... And then I can al I also regain an oomph whenever a frog returns from dimension zero or returns to dimension zero. Everything on the board is pretty good as far as like light seeing. This your one card. I know is I like, saw that. It's, it's all like shiny. It's hard to see. Yes, thing. Set it over. Over there. Can't yeah. see it. It's this yeah. cool looking fella. Yeah, it's neat. The art in this game is rad. I really, I'm a big fan. I, w I wish that they would sell like posters or something with this cosmic frog art, or even like a gaudy all over print t-shirt mm, or a kimono oh okay Ooh, yeah what go. about a kimono there you go uh all right so i am going to i'm not going to move i'm actually fine where i'm at um but uh i am going to hop into here uh and then i'm going to do a second action to attack, I think Mike's vault. I'm getting it's vulnerable. Getting drained. You're getting drained. So I think I'm gonna go after Mike's vault. Uh, also, actually, when your vault gets raided, you move up the number of hexes taken. So Mike, actually, you should be there now. 
Because Jimmy took a piece from you. Not points. It's not points. This is the number of hexes that are taken from your You're ball. climbing out via my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sucking all the way down there. Uh, like, all right. Gross. So I, because I'm oh, there, it's super You gross. have some stuff I want before you get out. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and target you. So I roll a white die. Uh, Jimmy has some stuff too, actually, but I don't know what you got in there. Well, so I'm also not in the outer dimensions. Or, but I mean, I was gonna say I could take from your gullet and uh, then, sure. um, or hit you out and then raid you. Um, but no, uh, I'm going to. I'm just gonna take from take from Mike. So I'm gonna set my raid target at a measly peasly one. Just a single point. Mm, no, two. I'm gonna go for it all. Two points. So here's my white die. I got a zero. Um, I, I cannot re-roll it. Uh, so unfortunately, that's where I'm at. Uh, all right. Yellow, Mike. Go Finally. Ahead and roll a die. I am going to get out of here. What, I got to roll a two? You need a, you need a two to get out, yep. And you, you also got a zero. Same thing I got. So <laughs> it's set aside. Hey, well, you're used to your cards getting set aside, yeah. so they do once again. Well, not anymore. I'm and not that guy anymore. Take another roll. It. Give it another uh, shot. Buddy. Okay. You Two. did it. Bingo. You're out. Do I ability. get to take an action? You do. You get to take um, an action because this card was set aside, and then you can also spend two to take an extra. So go ahead and recover all of your uh, all your stuff. Exciting card. Mm. Cool. Okay. What organizing so, all the dice? <laughs> if you want to reveal it, you can. But you can land you can either start in the ether or start on the outside of the ship. Yeah. Mm, 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 Your mm, choice, my friend. Mm. I am going to reveal it and attack Jimmy. Ooh, the void shadow. So the Void Shadow, if I remember, is he basically disables other people's powers, right? Yeah, turn off other people's powers. When you attack and, them, they feel the And down. Uh, once combat is declared, the opponent may not turn their ability card face up. Yeah. Mm. The so you will always, your opponent will always be rolling white dice, no matter where you're fighting. Very good. You're attacking James? I'm attacking James. Okay. So you're just going to... I'm going to boost it. So plus one to the result. Boosty. Okay. Five versus a five. Jimmy, all you roll, yeah. you always roll good rolls. I can't believe this. How does he do it? They call me King Stop Frog. Stop rolling. King Frog. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. You're dead. Second action. Second action. No boost this time. No boosts. Okay, just straight roll. Wow. Two. Uh, <laughs> I thought King it was going to be Frog. a zero. King Frog. <laughs> nonsense. It's absolutely yeah. nonsense. It's been four times now. <laughs> four times. Well, yeah, give it another go. Get two. Uh, get two moves back as well. Yeah. Fucking punch you again. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait till yeah, I curse never. Till I never get it. Are you boosting it at all? Uh. Yes. So plus one to the roll for Mike. That's a five versus. <laughs> oh uh, that's the dice. I thought it was gonna be a zero. Yeah. It was like rolling like it was gonna be the zero, and then you got a, a five. <laughs> Do it again. All right, no, no addition. Mike is just going. He's yeah. up for blood. The two at no way. I'm not gonna beat him. One. Oh, you, you beat it. him. Finally. You beat him. Thank okay. You. So you may <laughs> steal from his gullet or raid him after he gets knocked into the outer dimensions. Oh, okay. I'm gonna raid. The only thing you could steal is this. Uh, right, because he's gonna get knocked to the first dimension, mm -hmm. so you only can set your points at one, and this is the only thing with one point. So you get more for this, but if you want that color for something, then then that would be a valuable thing. I'll just yeah. take this. It doesn't really matter then. I don't, I don't need the right. blue, I don't think. My mesa. Okay, well, James, you lose whatever ability card you had. It's the cool guy. The cool guy. All right. All right. Green. I'll get an oof. And while I'm here, I think I might try to raid Jimmy's vault because I will break a siphon, which is nice. And I've got blue stuff, so I can start to make little lines. Um. Let's do that. Let's raid Jimmy's vault. Let's raid Jimmy's vault. All right. Uh, I get a white die for that. 
And Watch out. That's it. I'm gonna, I, I, it's a one. I'm setting it at a one. Watch out for these rolls. Well, Jimmy doesn't get to roll against me, yeah. so... Oh, that's true. Uh, I need to beat a one. I need a two or higher, and I got a three. Uh, so I will go ahead and take this one piece, which also gets you out. Also, Blink has the ability. If I spend a new land I raid, goes straight to my vault. Skips mm, cool. my gullet. So I'm going to spend that. Got some sort of a... Uh, warp colon. Some, for, some sort of a warp colon, they yeah. say. <laughs> Uh, I'll actually put this. Right, here he is, some sort of warp colon. I'm gonna put this sucker here. Um, yeah. And I'm out, right? And then you get knocked out because I, I took one, but you don't get an action or anything right away. You're yes, just out. I do get a frog. You do. Okay, uh, and then my extra action if I want it, um, which I, gosh, I think I am gonna spend an extra, extra action. I'm gonna vomit. Blah, 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 blah. All my stuff in my vault, right there. Uh, okay, next card. Come on, green. It's green. I get Man. an oomph, and then I'm going to... Scott's turn again, huh? I'm going to land here. And I'm not taking a second action this time. Blue, James. Let's see. You get to turn my powers off if I attack you. That's right. Yep. Yeah, you never get a power against the Void Shadow. It's a very annoying power. Oh, you know what? I get to decide where I end up, right? Uh, yeah, when you, you get out. Yeah. Thing. If you're on a shard or if you're on not the shard. It's a little landed here. It's got to be on a barren tile. Yeah, right, right. Okay, so you're hanging out right there. Yeah. It doesn't matter if i got to move anyway. Hanging on either. We'll hang out there. First, I'm going to land... Then I'm going to harvest. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Green is the next card. Uh, I get a noof. I'm going to harvest this. And then. Um, gosh. Oh, I should have gotten a noof back when you got out of Dimension Zero. Because my second action was raiding you. I think I vomited and then raided. I think you raided, then vomited. I raided, then vomited. No, I landed after mm, I raided. Right, right. Anyway, I, I'll, I I don't know if I... Because I, I should get oomph when people come back from Dimension Zero, but I don't remember the order. I might have had full oomph when you got back. Um, so uh, I'm just going to end my turn there. Blue. So wait, what did you do? I devoured. Oh, okay. Harvested, I should say. I harvested a, a big old mountain. Trying to line them up. Jim says that I have the vault to destroy. He says I got the yeah, hot stuff. Definitely true. And it is a good vault. Like if you want to switch to the uh, the top down here. Sure. Kind of. So my vault over here. I've got. I uh, you can't see the bottom exactly. But I have nothing in the bottom little section right here. It's half off screen. Uh, but I've got a siphon here, uh, a water siphon, and then I've got a, a little swamp next to it. I've got a lake up here, so I'm going to have some good line combos here. It's a two, a two, and then I've got three cool mountains right up here. And so these three suckers are going to be worth uh, nine points at the end of the game. So what essentially, I, I'll just I'll, I'll spill the beans here. I'm hoping that a splinter strike comes up pretty soon and ends the game, which is why I'm you know, I'm trying to load up my vault kind of quick with just one or two things at a time. Because if Splinter Strike hits and ends the game, then I, I feel like I have the points to win. Which, as Jim is suggesting, is making me a target. You know, yeah. guys would want to beat me down. Let's yeah, see. Certainly a little risky to beat, up. beat you up. I am stronger on land combat than Mike, though I guess it'll be equal because he has Void Shadow. I don't know what you have. So. Yeah. I can also decrease or increase knockback I take by one if I spend oof. So you could, if you've only beaten by one to knock me into there, I can just say I'm not going to go anywhere. I can do it multiple times, so I can actually reduce knockback by a lot if I want to stay out of the ether. Uh, I'm going to slipstream to attack you. Okay. Uh, from what side then are you hitting me? Uh, here, here, here. This. Uh, it would, you'd have to, if you're slipstreaming for an attack, you gotta come in, you know, land on me. Hmm, okay. 
Otherwise, you'd have to go here and then move on to me. Uh, I guess the other side. I'm trying to knock you into the ether. Here? Yep. Okay. Um. So I get a yellow. So you're coming yep. at him from here. Yeah. Knock me that way. And I get a white, but I will spend two to. Uh, I think if your ability is face down, you can't. All right. Well, those. I'm the Ravager. I can eat barons. Ooh, okay. But I'm, I still roll white. I'm white. Okay. Uh, I am going to boost mine by one. Okay. So plus one to mine, you're rolling two of them. So I'm at a two, a measly two. Over oh, zeros in here. Oh my god, two fives. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Every time, dude. These rolls are insane. Every time. Jimmy what can you only doing? roll the best result. Are you a cheater? <laughs> yeah, you uh, cheat him. You got some pocket dice over there? Pocket dice. Uh, okay, so you beat me by three. Mm -hmm. I can only reduce my knockback by two. So I'm just going to take it. Do you want to steal this from me? Yeah, I want to steal it. Or do you want to take the land yeah, out? Whatever. I want to steal it from you. Okay, I'm in, I'm in dimension, or in, uh, in the, the ether. Great, and I am on oh, your good. sand space. And you're on my sand space, yep. All right, that's your turn? Yep. Go again. Get your, uh, oh, you don't have a siphon? I don't have a siphon. Oh, that's right, I broke your siphon. Uh, whoops. Uh, look at that. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> Oops, all siphons. Oops, all siphons. Hmm. Oh, that's you got a few juicy splinter strikes here. Really, any actually any of them. This is going to be the one that's the least. These two yeah. are the least damaging. I'm going to recover. Okay. Blue again, James. Great. I'm going to. We're getting the necessary string of actions here. Move into the ether, and attack, Scott. Okay. So we each are rolling white dice. Mm -hmm. And I will roll two. Okay. Um, now I can decrease my knockback here. So if you hit me and it doesn't beat me by enough, I can spend that to knock it into dimension zero. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to boost my dice. I'm going to hope that I don't get knocked back much. What did you do? You boosted? I'm rolling two. You're rolling two dice. Okay. So I got a five. You got a zero or a one. So well, let's run out. Stay where I'm at. No problem. Can't do nothing about that. You Lux run else? out, buddy. Nope, that was my second. That was your second. Okay. okay well, yeah, you might have two more in you, buddy. Ooh. Your turn. Get, uh, uh, get, 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 get it going. You gonna hit me again? Yeah, I'm gonna hit you again. All right. Are you boosting? Uh, I'm gonna roll two. Again. Overpower. Okay. Go ahead and make your roll, and I'll roll afterwards. So you have a three, and I have a four. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. That's true. This is called turnabout is fair play. Ever heard of that one? Uh, I have. Uh, all right. Shakespearean. <laughs> <laughs> blue, blue again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna attack you. I'm not gonna boost it. Though. Okay. I got a one. Yes, also oh. a one. Also this a one. Rough. You feel you feel the pain now. Yeah. I've I've become Jimmy. Mm -hmm. All right. Eater of worlds. Eater of dice. Yellow. Hey, like, your turn. turn. Go get two back. Uh, two. And then I'm getting lucky. I'm getting some lucky rolls here. And on the then when I need them. I'm gonna punch Scott. Okay, so I have no ability, so that means I cannot. Yeah, in, turn I that over. I can't do anything really with this inf. Turn that over and um, punch him real hard. I'm gonna roll a yellow. You gonna do anything with it? I'm going to not do anything with it. I'm just gonna go straight five. on. Five. Uh, yes. Tied up. Tied up. No. Five five baby. Could have taken him again. I, got a I do have a juicy vault. It's a good one. I'm going to do, do another one and, and this is the vault disgorge. I wanted to yeah. take your vault, but yeah. I need to disgorge too. All right. Splinter Strike. I'm crossing my fingers on this one. It hits here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there. bottom left. So this there. spot right here. We got nothing. 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 Wow. Wow. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. And nothing. Oh man! Wow. Okay. <laughs> a whole lot of nothing. I yeah. shuffled the heck out of these two, and I was uh, whole... trying to get them all over. Yeah, you shuffled them all out of the game. Oh uh, yeah. Oops. Oops. No fractures. Oops. Yeah. No fractures. Yeah. Green. Um, well, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I get an oomph. 
Uh, I am gonna go. Mountain's gone. You have. We, we swung at him like six times. Yeah. You swung at me a lot. No, or do I want to go on the offensive? I will flip this over. Um, try to take that from you, and then immediately. Oh no! I have to rate you to take it. Never mind. Well, um, if you hit me. That goes in my. I guess I can extra action to spin mm. it out. Make my vault even juicier. Let's go for a juicier vault. I'm not gonna rob. I can be a coward. Uh, so I'm gonna do this, and I will um, not spend anything because I want to be able to do, to spit it out this turn. Uh, all right, I'm hitting you, James. All right. One, one zero. One. One. All right. Um, I will do an extra action. Keep knocking over your siphon. I will do an extra action to land. Um, here. Because it's next to the ether, so I can land in that inside area. Sneaky. All right. Green again. Get one back. Uh, I will spend my action recovering. Next dude, yellow. Hello. Uh oh, yellow. Uh oh, yellow. Here we go. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to punch Jimmy because. No, oh, you can land next to Scott. Just smack there. him back you in. Can attack me. So let's go. No card for you. That's funny. You adding anything to it, Mike? Um, no. Yellow versus white. Two. Oh, God. Two. Man, God so many tide rolls. Damn it. Um, Taking a second action. Do it again. All right. Yellow versus white once Come again. On with a better There's roll. a two. A two again? Well, James got a roll. <sighs> so you knock him into the first dimension. You can take one thing from his gullet. Um, or you can do a raid uh, against a But I only get one yeah. thing as yeah. well. And it, actually, yeah, he actually has nothing worth one point. Oh, so. okay, so I can't even do take it. Take the mountain. So I'll just take the mountain. And you get to go again, my class turn. Um, we can get to them for two. I'm going to. <sighs> nothing to raid. Jimmy's actually, that's not a bit terrible spot you're in. I mean, you lose your card, obviously, but you're invulnerable. I'm gonna. You're pretty safe, too. I can't punch you into the ether easily. Uh, that's true, right? Because you'll have to beat me by four to knock me into the ether. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not impossible, but it's not. But I do roll a yellow die and land. I guess it'll be a white. Yeah, it doesn't need to beat you by shot. that much because it'll hit you for. You're right. If he hits me for one, yeah. three or four, almost anything. One, so. three or four. Yeah. You're right. So yeah, you're right. So it's not that. Maybe not that bad. Uh, I'm just gonna jump onto here. And then spend my second action to take it. And that's me. Okay. Shuffled up. Blue. Great. Roll your die. See what happens. You're out. I'm out. And so you may take an extra action, but you don't get an action by default. This game gets very offensive at the end. It's always like... Yeah. Who's doing a right. thing? Ooh, Warbringer. I'm revealing the Warbringer. Oh no, I can't. Let's see, your extra action costs one oomph if it's an attack or a raid. So, yeah, you, you're you landing, and then I guess, yeah, you yeah, could, yeah, you yeah, could you land here land right and then attack me. Yep, and I will. Because that is an attack. All right. Uh, I get a yellow, you also get a yellow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay one to overpower, because okay. that's what I'm allowed to do. I will spend two to also... I'm going to do plus one, actually. Okay. So you're rolling two dice, I'm rolling one. My result is a five. And you have a six. Great. So you knock me back a space, but I could spend a noom to not go anywhere. Um, which I will do. I will decrease knockback by one. You're good. I recover an oomph because I won't cut that. Okay. Uh, I think the tile is still destroyed? Uh, no, it only see if you get knocked back into it. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything like that. So, blue. Okay. I will uh, attack you again. Alright. And I will play one to overpower. I will spend none. I'm just going to stay with what mm -hmm. I've got. Two. Four. Four. Um, I will spend <laughs> two oomph to stay where I'm at. You can reduce it by... You can spend an oomph to increase or decrease by one, and you can do these multiple times. 
Oh, yeah. You so, rolled it, too. Yeah. So, knock me back two, reducing it by two, for two oomph. All right, I'll take an extra action. <laughs> doing, doing everything I can to not get I'll in a spend, spot where uh, I can get raided here. Oh, I won the combat? Or no, wait. I did win the combat. Yep. Um, taking an extra action and overpowering. Um, Staying with what I've got. Four. One. Two. Okay. Yeah, okay. Blue again. Great. I'm attacking you. Okay. I'm not doing anything. I'm going to spend one to overpower. Two. Two. Wow. Terrible. You going to send an extra action to yeah. you again? and then I'll overpower. Okay. Two. Well, that's good enough. Yeah. I can't reduce knockback that much, so I do get blocked into it either. Cool. Um, I don't have anything to steal, so you can take this land. In sure. fact, I believe you must if you can. No, I'm, sure. I'm doing it. I love that land. It's beautiful. That's why I was defending it. Mm -hmm. This land is your land. This land is my land. Alrighty. That was wow. my land. Yellow. Mike. And by the uh, way, Mike, you've been doing a great job switching and playing at the same time. Yeah, I feel like I'm switching too much now, but um, whatever. Because I, I keep leaving it on the wrong thing, just like I have now. It's on you, and I'm the one talking. <laughs> so that should be on me. You've been, you've been doing great. Um, so I'm going to jump into the ether here as my first action. Uh, and then as my second action, and I get two back. Yep. As my second action, I'm going to disgorge, or whatever it's called. That's the one, disgorge. Uh, and for what it's worth, too, you can stack things of different types. They just don't do anything if they're not going to become a siphon. Oh, okay. So, like, you could put this on, you know, whatever. Sure. Interesting. All right, is that, uh, is that your turn? Um... Yes. Blue. That's you. That's true. Uh, I'm gonna go into the ether. Okay. Any uh, anything else? Nope. You don't have any get anything to do, I guess. Green. Get my oomph. You do have stuff I can steal, but you're better at ether combat than I am. I will land here, and uh, that's it. Ether flux. Um, and we all get to participate this time. I will. I do kind of like blink, but I am gonna. I'm gonna transform. James. I'm gonna resist. I'm gonna Mike. Resist as well. Okay. Yellow. I get two. I am going to. Let's see. Shoo, 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 shoo. Like that guy. You're doing very well. Yeah. I'm going to attack you from the ether. Right from what side? Right from there? Side. That's me, by the way. But the blue one. Keep yeah. taking your blue one. Uh, Alright. I'm going to try to punch you into the ether. Cool. So land combat, huh? Uh, I'm going to reveal. Yeah, you don't get to use it, so. Oh, yeah. You fort shadow. Um, I didn't see that. Alright. It's on land now. It is on land. That sucks. I should run the point. Are you doing anything to that roll? Um, hold on. Actually, punching you right now, I gotta punch you into the ether and then I gotta attack you again. Mm -hmm. It's just really annoying. I think. What you got going on? I could raid Jimmy. Punch him and raid him. You could. And then I get my yellow die. And if you pick but these up, doing you're well. right that. You can catch up though. I mean, I'm not obviously. I have incentive for you not to attack me. But yeah. if you do take stuff from Jimmy, like if, if let's say you knock him far back and you're able to get like two of these things, you can create a setup that is pretty much as strong as mine. Right. Honestly, you're not that far behind me. I don't think. Right. The fact that I have three highlands in a row is a lot of points, but you can collect three highlands. Actually, you also have three highlands in a row. Because if you eat this one first, now you have three of those to eat. 
So, I don't know. I actually, looking at your vault, uh, you're, I think, at my level and maybe even beyond it. In my opinion. Sure. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to punch Jimmy just because I think it's more of a sure thing. Very so, rude. Um, you got to turn your card over, and then I'm going to punch you with this yellow dice. Are you doing anything with that? I'm not going to do anything with it. All right, roll away. That's a two. Oh, man. That's a zero. Yes. So, so two back. Two steps. And now if I raid him, I keep I losing can, my guy. I can take a Highland if I raid him. So, uh, yeah. now. Or I could take these two. You could also just take those two. If I raid him, they go into my gullet too, right? Yep. So, either way, they these do. are not bad. Those are good. Yeah, I think those are good. You can also you, set up a little thing with your. Deserts. Yeah, I could do three of the yeah. lowlands. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, that'll be what, five, six, six points? Six points. Pretty good. Um, the green doesn't do me a whole lot. It gets you at least two points, which is pretty good. Five. Uh, two highlands is five. Yeah, but presumably oh, but you're going to do those three. That's so. true. Because uh, right now, these are worth a total of two we points. Go to the, we go to the thing so yeah, these are worth two points right now. But if you were to put this desert there, now that's worth six points. Right, so, so that's the way to do that. Yeah, so I'll do. So I'll take these, and then they go into your yep in that order. And then I will spend it, do another action to uh, <laughs> to barf them out. Um, so I'll put this one here. You got it. I mean, it goes top down, but I guess oh, you're right. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter in this case. Um, but there's no place to put this one that's really useful right now. Yeah, not particularly. Oops. Could I will do... put it. I'll just, I'll just put it here, and then. If you put it. Um, maybe I'll here. get another one. But that's where I'm gonna put that one. But you have three in stack. So uh, if, if you put that there, and then when you score, you score these two forests, and then those two forests. And I get ten. Those are worth ten instead of three in rows nine. So it is worth you get one extra point. Okay. All right. Okay. You're new, so I'm trying. I'm trying to point some, you know. I appreciate it. Put you up a little bit. I appreciate it. Even if it's ultimately going to hurt me. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Typically, it. I think pairs. That's all I can do. Yeah, pairs are always worth more. Going to be worth more than. Two pairs are going to be worth yeah. more than yeah, three. Yeah, two pairs are worth more than three. Yep. Yellow, your turn again, my friend. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Uh, punch you now. Okay, where are you attacking me from? I'm going to punch you from here. Okay. I'm going, I get two back. I'm going to use two to boost by one. Okay. Five. Yes. Knock me back to here, which breaks this. It is a fracture. One of the hey, first there we go. And then I'm in here and you're on there. So you can take that then if you want. So I will take well uh, right I away. I don't. Yeah, I don't have anything in for free. I can take it. Yep. Oh, okay, nice. So I will take that. Yeah, if you win land combat, you can either take from the gullet or the tile you're standing the on. Third. Um, and that's all I can do because I don't have enough to do another action. So green, that's me. Uh, I get one back. I <laughs> you can just try to rage Jimmy. You sure can. Just beat up on Jimmy for a while. Um, so I'm going to reveal. I'm the vampiric. Uh, when do you force me to flip stuff over? Is it only when we fight, or is it's it... It's part of your attack declaration. And what else? There's yeah. other things, too. Attackers... Oh, well, attackers must turn their ability card face down. It's part of their attack declaration. So your then, attack declaration against me is face down. And well. the last one is once combat... Once combat is declared, play. your okay. opponent may not turn their ability it's card face down. It's all combat. It's all I care about. I'm going to use my second ability. Once on each of my turns, I can target a frog that has available oomph and essentially sap it. So you lose one, and I gain one. I can wow. target you on the shard. What it's not combat, so it doesn't affect that. What a ding dong you are. What a ding dong. Then I'm going to land here, this corner. Um, and uh, that's um, that, That's my turn. I, I dish doesn't cost extra to do that. This is a free thing. Um, all right. Splinter strike. What do we got going here? It is this one that Mike is right next to. Uh oh. So I'm going to have to remind myself what exactly happened. Oh, it says... Oh, it doesn't say there. I think you lose what's in your gullet, maybe. Yeah, you can have the rules sure. and all find out. Yeah, see what happens on a... a in yeah, it might end screen. anyway, so... Shar, a fracture. Fracture. Nothing. 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 Let me think. I saw it. What, did you? I saw it. I'm a cheater. 
It's nothing. It's nothing. Okay, you're into the ether though. We have these two. So the next one that comes up, which could be from just knockback. So it's a kind of in our in our control right now. I can also like end the game. I can destroy terrain tiles with an oomph. Oh. On your turn, oh, destroy the terrain tile you are standing on. Yeah. Correct. So cool. if you, you can go somewhere and end the game if you want. Um, yeah. Alright. If a frog is on the strike hex, no, well, you're not. If you're adjacent to it, move the frog into the ether. Which you've already knocked into the ether. That's it. Okay, cool. No but gullet. if it's on it, you lose everything in your gullet, right? You lose all of your gullet and you spend all of your oomph. And get moved into the So it's very bad to be directly right. in the right. right. um, Alright, next turn. Green, I get one back. Uh, I'm going to target no one because you guys don't have any oomph. Uh, I will eat this hex. And then I will. I've taken a few turns so far. Um, that's it. I'm just going to eat that hex and lift my life right there. Green. All right. Get my oomph back. Hop in. Second action. Spit this out. Bleh. Um, or take from Mike, actually. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spit it out. I'm going to spit it out. Green again. Uh, I'm going to get Noof, and then I'm going to attack Mike. I really hate this turn order. Mm. I will lose. You're about to get like all of your turns yeah, in a row. Right? No, that's true. I got like four in a row at the start of this round. Kind of. I'm attacking yeah. Mike, which means I have to flip this over. Um, yes. I will spend. No, I guess nothing. I'm just going to roll on you. Okay. I get a yellow. I got a two. All right. Not like that. I'm a strong yellow. Yellow. Go ahead. All right. Here we go. Get two back. Uh, I'm going to get two, and I'm going to punch you. Okay. Where the sun... Oh, actually, no. First, I'm going to place this one. I'll lose it. Speed her up. Uh, and then I'm going to... Uh, actually, I'm going to put this... Yeah, I'm going to put it here. Okay. And then I'm going to attack you. I'm going to... Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Got a one. Four. So you go three back. Three back. I'm gonna raid your. I'm gonna raid your vault. So I have to roll a white die. Yes. Oh no. Lock is yeah, a white, white die. Roll a white die. They set your target uh, to one, two, or three. I'm gonna set it to three. Makes can I sense. boost this at all? No. Yeah. This is not boostable. Some people have powers that say they can, yeah. but no. Raid uh, is not combat. Okay. So here we go. Zero. Zero. Wouldn't have gotten any even if I wanted. And what is your thing on your turn? You can. Destroy the terrain. Okay, that's right. Not, not roll a die. That's the other dude. Um, I'm going to spend, an action spend my action and raid you again. Okay. Join for three. Three again. That's good enough. That's a four. Bingo. Okay, uh, so what so, are you taking? Remember, if you, if you start to take from one, a pile, have you to have to finish taking. that pile. Okay. Yeah, I'm, so I get three. So this is one, that's and then one the other point. ones are two. And then next one's so two I'm going to take these two. Two. Yep, so that's three points then. And it breaks one of my siphons. My only siphon. Or. Why did I put this here? I should have put that on top of that. Yeah, actually, I will do this. One. Two. It goes into your gullet. Never. Suck it up. Never mind. And it would have been this one first. So you okay, done. rules guy. <laughs> All right, next That's turn. That's my turn. Green. Actually, Mike took two things from me, so I'm here. Uh, great, let's roll for this, see if I get out. Get out of jail? Yes, I do. Uh, I will choose to land here. Get all my oomph. Get an ability. Hmm. That's a pretty good one. Not bad. Um, and I will... You know, let me see the rules. When I when I get out, do I draw my card first or do I choose where I land first? When you return, your frog is in play, immediately get a random ability. So first thing is I get an ability. I'm actually going to stay in the ether then. Um, and I am going to raid James. Terrible. <laughs> I'm not, not confident I can do much against Mike in, out here. But I can steal stuff from you. I can steal two things from you. Uh, two points worth. Just something. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I will uh, reveal I'm a whipped tongue. I get a yellow for rating. 
Uh, and so, uh, yeah, I'm going to go for two. I got a three. I will take something that Mike took from me. Take this. Put it in there. Um, and then you go up one. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will then. Oh, that, that, was, that was my second. That was your second. Yep. Blue. You're out. We spent so much of this game not having new abilities, and now it's been like, Jimmy, you've got like five new abilities in the last six turns. I've gotten a bunch. Ooh, yeah, I hate that guy. Camouflage. That is the, that is the most annoying attack. dude. Uh, I'm going to land in the ether. Spend, spend to attack him. two oomph to smack. I guess Scott is a little easy to knock around in the ether. Um, I'm going to spend two to overpower. Okay. Uh, I will <laughs> spend two to add one to my roll. So you have three. I've got six. Terrible. Okay. Bam. Uh, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to spend an oomph um, to make you re-roll your six. There you go. Two versus wow, three. Wow, it worked. And I'm going to... Raid me or steal this. You can only take one point of things from in here. Yeah. Um... I'm just gonna take this. Okay. Gullet. Alright. Snatch. Next card. Blue. Your turn again. Now I'm gonna raid you. Now you're gonna raid me, yeah. Okay. Uh, one point. You got it. Great. I'm out. Next turn. Yellow. Bingo! I'm going to punch Jimmy. Get two uh, oomph back. I'm going to punch Jimmy in the face. Okay, you have to pay two to attack me. No, that flips over. That's true. Uh, to target Jimmy. me Boy or Jimmy. declare an attack. That's true. To target, yeah. yeah. Once combat is declared, your opponent may not turn mm -hmm. over. Yeah, but but to, you to have declare to pay that two oomph. at all, you got to pay two oomph. So yeah, it says fall. turn your opponent's ability card down as part of your attack declaration. Yeah, and this says frogs must pay two oomph to target you or declare an attack against you. So to even do to even start the declare. But this declaration. is as part of my declare. Right, but you have to start declaring something before you're doing it. I don't know. <laughs> I think it happens before. I think I'm well camouflaged. Alright, yeah. let me ask you a question, Mike. If you're on a bicycle and you have a little turbo switch on your bicycle and you have it set up when you pedal you your bike goes ten times as fast. Okay. But there is a restriction on your bike that in order to pedal you have to put a quarter in this machine. Do you so have to put a quarter in before you pedal and your bike goes real fast? Yes. So here that's not they have to, to put this. a quarter in no. before you can start to do something. I'll do it. But I don't like it. <laughs> uh, so how what do I have to pay to take two, two oomph. It's a perfect. I think it's a perfect analogy. Yeah, I think this is, this is the worst. Um, Jim says you have to target and then declare. Fine. Yeah. Well, that's not. Well, that then I'm wrong. That's fine. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> and Jim smartly says, otherwise, who would you declare your attack against if you were not targeting someone first? Everyone. Target everyone, you yeah. and Sam attack. What if I target everyone? <laughs> we are in like this ether bloodbath. You're just like uh, lashing out. So now you flip your card. Yeah. Not that it matters too much. Yeah. Um, and I don't have any ability to boost. Thank so. you for uh, thank you for the uh, thank you for the clarification, Jim. So here we go. Let's roll. Five. Five versus five. Always. Mike can't be Jimmy. That's All right. That was, that was my turn. Rules. Yellow. You didn't have a shot at it, buddy. Let's do it again. Pay two to attack you. Man, that is good. He rolls a five again. The five. Five alive. It's the game you invented. <laughs> That's not what we're playing. 
That's what I'm fine. Yeah, that's what that is what Jimmy's playing. He's playing seven alive, then. Yeah. He rolled like three sevens. <laughs> I'm. If I need to build it. I'm losing very bad. Oh, yeah. No, Jimmy, no, no, Jimmy's no, it's fine. <laughs> you lost a bunch of rolls at some point, so it's yeah. not a big deal. But it was doing okay, and then I just got, like, everything stolen. You got but, raided. Yeah. If you're flux, uh, I have to lose my ability. Yeah, I want a new one. I don't have any of them, so I have to lose my two. You want a new one, yeah. No, new one. That sucks. That have you lost Void Shadow? Void Shadow is doing me some good. I hate the Void Shadow and Camouflage. I'm glad they're both gone. Uh, okay, next card. Green. Uh, I will not get anything back. Okay, alright, Nimble. I'm going to reveal that right away. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and attack. You both have like the same vault right now. Or the mm. gullet. Uh, I'm attacking Mike. Um, I will take a swing on you. I get to roll a yellow. I, uh, I'm not overpowering anything because I have no oof. And you also um, don't have any. What do I roll? Do I, can I flip this? Yep. yep. Well, it doesn't change anything. We're in the ether. So I just roll white then? Uh, yep. Six. Can't beat it. Zero. All the way back to the sixth dimension. And then I will raid you. You're not uh, taking this? You, I mean, it's... That's too tempting. I could go for a big number. I gotta roll a big number then, though. And I'm trying to hurt your vault. Hmm... Man alive, do I want to go for that? Because I roll a white die, which ain't great. <laughs> I mean, I got. If I want to win, I gotta hurt your vault. Your yeah. vault is valuable right now. Even if you're just three. going for three, oh, I guess you can't mix it up. I mean, I could go one, two, three. Yeah, you do this, which gets you your fourteen Four points. Row. You're right. I'm or okay. You can grab this, which I'm doing. I'm declaring the three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a big number here. Rolling a white dice. Raid target of three. Nope, that's One a two. Off. That's a two. I tried. I tried. All right. Uh, you, you were two off. You had to beat it. Yellow. Yeah. I My know. turn. All right. Mike just has a billion points in here. Mm -hmm. I oh, need sure. to get out of here. Yep. I'm gonna and roll and a you've six. got to roll a You might be in there the rest of the game. Very possible. Man, you can't roll a six on that. You got so. a zero, so you're stuck. Your card is set aside. Green. Of course, um, I rolled a zero. I'm raiding Mike. Three points again. I'm gonna get like, rated One. constantly. No. Blue. Hmm. Go for it. I Go think I got it. it right? Go for it. You gotta, dude. Look at that vault. It is so valuable. You can only take two things. Mm, that's true. You're going. That's good. I, I dude. I'm full. looking to take two things. Um. Break up a siphon. I don't get any oomph. No. You're essentially. Oh, you're this out. is gone. Right? Yeah, yep. that's gone. Yeah, you're uh, right. You know, I actually really want the things in your gullet more than anything else. Well, you can't. But you that, can't, right? yeah. you can't take them. You can't reach into uh, I'm going to disgorge. I have to disgorge. Okay. That's your turn? Yep. Blue again. Then I'm going to read Mike. <laughs> How many points? Um. I'll go for... Three. As well. Three points, okay. Rolling a white die. Yeah, I don't think I get any benefit here. No. All right, roll them. You get three things. Yeah. All right, Mike, I've, I've moved you up two. James. You're gonna disgorge. And that's it. Right. That's it. Blue again. Man, Jimmy's going to have a slingshot turn at the end. I'm going to hop back on the land here. Okay. It's your turn? Mm hmm Green. Um, you got a lot of points Sorry, I'm going to hop back on the land here. Sure. Oh, yeah, i got to try to take the mic. <laughs> I'm just, just going to do... Rob mic. I'm just going to do two. Got it. No, I did not. I need to exceed. I need to beat it. Oh. Right. I got my card again, so I'm going to do you two need to again. exceed it? Yep, I'm going to do two again. One. Blue. Gonna. Can I... You 
You're making out like a bandit here, Mike. Everyone's targeting you, and you're not losing a thing. I know, but I mean, you have a lot of time. Gonna move. Yeah, I mean, Splinter Strike is also gonna bust stuff up here. Splinter Strike. Yeah, there's a lot of those I can. And there is one card per thing you can target. So stuff that's been hit can't get hit again. I'm gonna recover. Okay. Mike, roll a die. Hell yeah. See if you get out. We're out, baby. Out I'm, rolling. I'm definitely rolling four. Oh, you man. did not roll a four. You move that many steps? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yellow again. Green. Um... Yeah, let's target you for two. Give You're me looking real valuable too now, James, because you mm -hmm. got that phone That's going. true. But I got to knock you in there. Mm -hmm. He'll come back in. Bulls are got whatever this is. Plus Could be the frog that eats that you. Is. You know, the frog that eats you, specifically. <laughs> what was that? What was that horror movie, The Bed That Eats You? The, like, oh my god, it's like a horror movie in the subtitles, like The Bed That Eats You. Uh, it's oh an yeah. old movie. Isn't it like Hellbed or something? Like, you know, like, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Hellbed, yeah. Um, I just don't know if there's going to be enough time for me to knock Jimmy yeah, in, get right. to the ether, and then raid his yeah. ball. So I got to go for Mike again. Two points. I will take, I think, just this. That doesn't hurt Mike that much. But, yeah, but it helps you me quite five a bit. Five if yeah. I can get it put away. Whereas these hurt Mike. But only get me three points. Yeah, I gotta go for this. Uh, and then you move up one because I took something. Yellow. Bingo, baby. Now you can also discard, I think, two of these. Or all of them. I think it's all of them. To just get out. But at this point, you're Hopefully, on. I roll it, huh? Let's see if I wanna roll. You did, you're out. All right. You I get, get three extra actions. Bunch of turns. So when I come you out, your card. I get all my shit. You can be on the outside of the shard or in the ether. I get my card. I had this guy before. Yeah, we looped around at this point. Um, yeah, there are fewer thro fro fewer <laughs> frogs than I thought. Like a dozen or something. But also I got knocked into the outer dimensions like four times this game. So. Um, I'm going to attack Scott. Yeah, I guess you have to, don't you? Um, but Jimmy has so much. Not really. Come on. Are you kidding me, dude? You're going to get like nine points for these yeah, and then like cool, right? or these and like six for these. Uh, I'm attacking. Yeah. Very cool. And you have to flip. Oh, no, that's not the no. same. Yeah, uh, you don't get to carry that one for <laughs> yeah, the rest of the game. Hey, what do you think I do? Joker. Uh, Man, you're a real midnight toker right now, you know that? That's what they said. I'm going to overpower, which I, where I get two yellow. So I'll roll my. I, I can't do anything to mine. So I got a three. You got a six. There you go. You want this, uh, or you want to raid me? I'm going to raid you. Okay. Yeah, because uh, you're good at raiding. So, what's your point total? One, two, or three? Two. Okay. No. Three. Nope. You got to beat it. I'm going to re-roll. You can re-roll your, uh, your dice. What does it say? Target frog re-rolls re the dice. They just roll. It doesn't say combat. You're right. Bingo. Take your three points. So I'm going to take... That's four points. That's four points. Oh, oops. I'm going to take that and that. All right. It sucks. Now my vault's worthless. Yeah. <laughs> I got nothing um, in here. And then I'm going to take another action to disgorge. Of course. Well, you have... You just got... Did you just get out, right? Mm-hmm. So oh, I have other turns. Your first action would have been that. Right. You have two more things. So you can disgorge. doesn't cost you anything. And I get a oomph bag. Uh, That's my next You would have been getting oomph. No, you don't get oomph because you were in the dimension. So no, you, you, you would have started... Well, I got it all back when I came in. I spent it to attack you. You get it. Now I get another... You get it when they're turned over. Oh, but I don't get yeah. it for that. Okay, yeah. got it. Uh, okay, so then I disgorge yep. for... Then you'll have one more freebie. A turn... Suddenly, this is the competition now. Mm. Let's switch to the uh, overhead. We can see what you're, uh, oh, what sorry. you're hooking up. So yeah, I'm filling out my vault here. A wild vault Mike has going. And then these are all, by the way, like two or three layers deep. They're, like these are the ones that are not like two of them. Yeah. Um, Jimmy's got a nice vault going too. I got nothing. 
So your last action. I have one more action now. And then you can also do. This doesn't cost you. None of the, none of these actions. Right. I haven't you spent anything. anything on an action yet. Yeah. So my last action. Um, raid, disgorge. One more. I'm gonna raid your bolts again. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's a yellow. It's a yellow. What are you shooting for? I, guess it doesn't matter. I was going for a, three. A five. You can only do one. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Okay, one. Yeah. Doesn't matter. And you roll the five, so who cares? So I'm just going to take this gotcha. little guy, and I'm going to spend two to put it into my ball. And your final action is your extra. All right, <laughs> that was bad. That's next turn is blue. Jump. Spend two to harvest. Okay. Splinter strike. This is going to be right where I'm standing. It very well could be. It is not. It is barely not. It's right here. There it is. End of the game. End of the game. Would it have ended the game earlier? No. <laughs> it's all, like, all blanks except the one. All right. So Splinter Strike got drawn. It drew one fracture, which is what we needed to fill out the, uh, the shard integrity track. And now we go into scoring. So... Um, we can start with my vault just so I can explain how it works. Yeah. Uh, and my vault Did is. Do you want to use the close up or no? No, it's too choppy. Um, we can just here. Why, why don't we do this? Switch to the overhead, and I will uh, put my vault in the middle. We can just each kind of put our vault in the middle when we do it. So, uh, yeah, let's do a little little uh, little action here. Is that Zoom. It? Yeah, it's, it's it's a pretty wide lens. Oh, okay. So. All right. So, here's my vault. My pathetic vault. My. It's, Jim, thank you. We once said that it was a great vault that everyone should target. <laughs> and now here we are. Um, so what I need to do first is see how many land domains I have represented. This reference sheet will tell you what the, uh, what the domain types are. And so there are four, four domain types. So I've got one represented here. These are stone. I've got one represented here. This is the, what is it, plant? And I have a third one represented here. It's the water. So that's actually pretty good. Three of the four mm -hmm. are represented. So that is going to give me um, five points for those three representations. Then I start to take things off here uh, for being in straight lines. I don't have many choices to make here. Uh, Mike and his, James, you'll have some. Mike will have quite a few. Rotating it. So we can read it. Sure. Good call. So uh, yeah, here's a little matrix to show you how many points you get for things. So I have these two in a row, these two same exact tiles in a row. They're highlands. So two highlands are worth five points. So I'm at 10 total right now. This is one highland is two points. So I'm at 12. This is one highland for another two points. So I'm now at 14. And this is one lowland, so it's an additional one. I'm at a cool 15 points. Almost the points I would have gotten when I was going for all four in a row alone. <laughs> And yet now my total is up uh, all three fifteen. So fifteen points is my final score. And uh, I will remind myself with these that I have fifteen. So uh, <laughs> let's go, James, because I right. think we all know who won. But let's figure this out. So let's put those there, and I'll let you take care of your your stuff. Yep. <clears throat> so I have uh, only two land domains represented, so I only get two points for that. Yep. Um, I. I think I had all of them at some point in the game, but you may have. You know, I was robbed yeah, quite a few times. Water, all water, yeah. and then two, uh, whatever those are. Yep. So I'm going to score these two maces, which are going to get me five points. You're at seven. So I'm at seven. Then I'm going to score Thank you. these three swamps, uh, which will get me six points. So I'm at a total of 13. Mm -hmm. And then these three. Lakes uh, for nine more points. So, so 22. 22. So we're at 22 points for James. Okay. And then, finally, Mike. Let's let's see the newbie go ahead and score his board. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing we went easy on him, James, That's right. for the new guy. We let him win. Oh my God. This was easily my worst game of this. Like, rough. Uh, I felt like I was losing hard, and then all of a sudden, go ahead and uh, really step yeah. down. Just a Rating and combat really can be very powerful. Um, so I'm first going to score, I guess I'll just score these top greens, right? Sure. Because, yeah, you're not going to get any more greens hidden underneath things mm -hmm. as far as I see. So those, well, first, actually, first do your, um, it makes it easy to see, but land domains represented. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Is that in total? Yeah, in total. Uh, I so think I have... I think you have all four. All four. 
Because here's mountains. This is going to be your um, your stone. Mm -hmm. Here's terra. That's here's amazing. water. And then here's forest. Plant. Yeah. So you're at a cool nine points just for that. Nine points, and then these three low three lowlands gets me six points. So yeah, fifteen. So fifteen points. So you're equaling me. Uh, three highlands get me nine. Though. We had, uh, remember, we were talking before. I'm, I'm just going to try to help you, help you optimize here. That's fine. In my opinion, part of the strategy, too, is knowing how you should take them off. But I agree. If you, um, if you do these waters, then the sands, you'll unlock two forests and two forests, mm. which are worth more points than three forests. Right. I forgot. You told me about that. Though, uh, actually, it's, is it, it's not worth more than three forests and one forest, though. So, so, so never mind. So it's actually, that's actually more, I think. Oh, it's more? Okay. It's going to be 9 versus, or sorry, 11 versus 10. Okay. So, yes, never mind. Never disagree what I'm saying. So, I have 15, so then I'm going to get three low, uh, three highlands mm -hmm. for 9. Okay, so you're at 24. 24. So, you've already so beaten Mike's me. already <laughs> won and then by taking a <laughs> strip of yeah. things off. I'll do two highland. Two lowlands. Two lowlands for 3. So, that's 24. Five. No, 20, um, seven. 27. 27. Three lowlands. Four. Six. 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 Three. One highland. 35. One highland. 37. Seven. One lowland. 38. One highland. 40. 40. 42, 43. 43 points. Yeah. Big points, baby. You nearly doubled Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, big you points. You more than doubled me. So that was yes. real big points there. Yeah. Big Almost points. tripled your score. Almost yeah. tripled my score. I have 45. Mike got 43. Well, uh, Mike, you sufficiently kicked our butt there. Um, I'm the best. This, the, this, something, <laughs> something. Run the stream, win the game. Well, yeah. Who cares? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this game, obviously, there can be a lot of swings in, in power in this game. Um, I for for my tastes, the, I don't know. This is like my probably sixth or seventh time playing this. Um, for my tastes, I like the nature of the sort of onboard stuff being very swingy but then having some big picture strategic ideas of how you want to be placing stuff in your vault, which types you want to go for. You can have goals that are not random chance. You can say, I need these you know, specific lowlands or these specific highlands or this mix of things. And you can locate them and target them and go try to get them. But then frog powers and you know, dice combat and whatever else adds like some chaos uh, into that, that, that part of the game, which mixed with the turn order as we saw in these last couple of turns, can result in some really big swings of power. Um, which I know has turned some people off. This enemy game is too cat or too unbalanced or whatever it might be. Um, it's, you know, it's weird in a lot of ways, but I, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. What, being your first game, Mike, what did you think of it? Um, that was fun. I think um, the powers... Um, come and go so quickly. It's a little, uh, you know, you get used to a power and then all of a sudden you don't have it anymore. Sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, I thought it was great. I mean, I, I had a fun time playing it. Yeah, something I actually like about the powers coming and going is, um, you know, we, this group has played a lot of Cosmic Encounter and, uh, we, uh, you know, you have the one power that you use the whole game and, uh, a couple times we've used, like, hidden powers or um, uh, optional things like space stations that let you get an additional power. Mm. But it's going to be really fun to be like, oh, if I really just get this one new ability, it'll really change the game for me. Um, so I think there are situations in, uh, in this game where it's like, oh, yeah, this is great that I lost my power. Or, yeah, other times where it's like, it's really frustrating that lost my power because, you know, it was so good. So I like that it can add that. But yes, definitely there are, there were times, like, I had the, the mind borer, which can, like, control another frog. But I didn't even get to reveal it by mm -hmm. the time, like, you mm -hmm. know. 
I got it and was like, ah, oh, this is cool, I've got some ideas, and then it like vanished, you know, before I could do anything about it. Um, the powers are very, the frog abilities are very in flux. They're, um... I wish there were more, I think. Oh, you wished you so like you like we we. I went, ran into we the same the one. Yeah. We, we went, went through the deck because yeah. What, what happens is when you when you yeah, lose actually. a power, you like put it onto the bottom of the deck. You don't like throw it out of the game. So eventually it'll come back around. And yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there are sixteen powers in the game. Um, we had pretty static powers for the first chunk of the game. I was the Marauder for a while. Um, you, you were the mutagenic for a bit. Mm, I had uh, massive, which you I had massive. Drawing, yeah. you I was the void guy for the most. That's right, and, and then you were the void guy for a while. Um, but yeah, then whenever you're knocked into the, th uh, the outer dimensions, you lose it. Um, I just flux comes up. I, my first two that I was choosing from were nimble and mutagenic, and then I got you got nimble, and then I got mutagenic again. Oh, I think it was what came right at the end. Um, so yeah, it was like, just I just would be nice to have a few more where sure. we were running into the same ones uh, multiple times. but Sure. For us, for me, I think that, and honestly, when I play Cosmic Encounter, I think of this too, I think of this way, the abilities always seem secondary to what I'm trying to do. Um, I try, like, the abilities rarely give you brand new things you can do. They're typically tweaks on existing attacks or tweaks on other things. Some, some are exceptions. Vampiric can steal energy and some people can like eat shards and spit them out, but um, I, I, whenever I'm playing this game or a Cosmic Encounter, I always try to plan my games out sort of almost ambivalent to what my power is. Um, and then if I get a power that benefits me in some way, I try to take advantage of it while I can, but I try not to rest my entire gameplay on it. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little harder in this versus Cosmic Encounter. Honestly, because this, some of these, like the dice you roll, yeah. is a pretty big deal. Um, if you know, like when you were Imperium, mm -hmm. it's like a, yeah, it's hard to, or it's all of a sudden I want to be hanging out in the ether, right? Which is typically a very right. vulnerable place. So now, like, it, I think these change your game plan more. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I can see how if you are holding on to a power like Imperium, that is going to dictate how you're playing. Whereas some powers like Nimble wasn't going to dictate my overall game plan too much. Like, he can do some extra movement actions for cheaper. Um, he's got good combat, but, like, I think a handful of these powers are not super dramatic, right? Whereas some, the, the ones that are, maybe... I, I, I'm trying to come up with what I'm trying to say here, but I think I can understand how if you have a power that is defining your strategies, or is, is going to, I guess, and you lose it, it can be demoralizing in right. a way. Mm -hmm. Like, you have something very strong. But you do have some agency over it, though, you know, yeah. there are, there were definitely times where we, the uh, ether flux came out and we were out of oomph, or... Sure, which is... Know. Oomph management's a big part yeah. of the game. Um, I'm just... I, I use it up uh, in any of these games. <laughs> I do it in Cosmic, or in uh, Cryptic Explorers, too, just so I can use it. <laughs> just yeah, use everything. It, yeah, just I, 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 I do feel like if there's a, a secondary resource that has a sort of push-your-luck component to it, yeah. or like it's bad to run out of in any game, right, I'm always right. like, just just spend it all. Just use yeah. it, man. <laughs> um, Get this thing done. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, so, yeah I, I try to conserve my oomph a little bit in this. Mike, you had two siphons going for a little while, so you were like for every, one, every for turn. most of the game. Yeah, that's most true. Of the game. A little while is underselling it. Yeah, you you were able to recover you frequently. Right, I got mm -hmm. I got two turns every time. I got an extra turn every uh, yeah, every wanted. turn. So that was, that was um, good. yeah. I think it's a cool it's it's a cool game. It's a fun game. I think it's pretty unique. I don't know really what I would compare it to. Like there are pieces of it I can see being like other games. The action card draw is a lot like Cosmic, I think, with the Destiny draw, where you might, mm -hmm. you know, get targeted multiple times, or you might do things multiple times. Mm -hmm. um, I, but yeah, I do, I keep coming back to the mix of sort of k chaos with dice rolling and combat versus some, you know, kind of big picture thinking with your vault. Mm -hmm. um, and I, yeah, I, it, it's a neat game. Like, I think I said at the start, it's one of my favorite games that I've played in the last year or so. We played it, you know, during COVID, we played it on Tabletop Cinema. Yeah, Jimmy, you a few and I times. Did, um, yeah, this is actually the first time I've seen it in person. And, yeah, uh, it's a really nice production. All of the components are very nice. I yeah, like the, really the neoprene mat. Yeah, the neoprene mat, like, none of this stuff is, like, a deluxe edition or anything. There's it's just this one release of the game, and it's this. Um, Jim said that there are eight more powers in the expansion. 
Oh, okay. So yeah, so there is an expansion coming then. Um, cool. Well, I'll I'll have to I'll have to keep an eye out for that one. Um, I had a lot of fun painting the frogs too. The frogs are big, chunky dudes, and they're they're very um, they look very good. fun to paint. They remind me of uh, street sharks. <laughs> street sharks. Yeah, they, they look pretty cool. I'm gonna Let's show. Let's see if we can't uh, get a little focus on these suckers. Yeah, there's the there's the green boy. A you did around. a good job, King Frog. Thank you. Here's the winner. Here's King Frog right here. Oh, yeah. The yellow one. I try to put like gloss on them so they're kind of like they're, um, frogs are slimy. A little slimy. How many players does this support? Six. Six? Um, I know there's a red frog. but There is. Officially it is two to six players, but I, I said at the jump and the stream that I did previously, there is a... Um, a solo mode from Ricky Royal, who does a lot of like solo modes for games, sort of fan-made solo thing, and it works well. It work it works pretty darn well. You're basically playing against um, what, what he calls uh, Robo Frogs, and they have like a pretty simple to follow flowchart of like they'll do this if you know if, if they're on land to eat and their gullet is this empty they'll eat it. Mm -hmm. If not, they will do this other thing. If they can't do that, they'll do this other thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it actually plays pretty well. You can play a team game in this too. Like, I intentionally picked three different frog sculpts for this, but there are two of each, like, model. And you can play team games where it'd be like, you know, the two frogs with this sculpt can be on the same team. Mm -hmm. And then you actually flip over the vault from your vault to the other side, which is a shared vault. And then both team members are feeding into the same vault. And so you're like, you don't have separate things. Um, which could be cool. Yeah, that's interesting. When you play two-player, there's also a two-player variant where you each person controls two frogs. Um, I think they stick it into a shared vault. So you're basically that's playing cool. a two two yeah, two team I game. I understand the difference. Um, it's just the, the 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 data is exactly the same. It's just so that you don't like if it, this, the green player's vault is green, but if you are playing with another frog, it's to remind you that this isn't just the green player's vault. This is the whole team's vault. Oh, it's only for me is it weird because the yellow player and the vault is also <laughs> oh, yellow. Oh, the yellow is like exactly yeah. the same color. So yeah. I was like, it looks, I was different. Like, it looks What's different for everyone the point? Isn't it? I get it. Yeah. 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 And yeah. It says okay. shared vault at the top, but yeah. Great. Um, yeah, and right. the great art, great art in this game too. Yes. Uh, yeah, the art is super cool. It's, um, it's yeah. 1970s, although, like psychedelic. Although I have a um, suggestion uh -oh. for, you know, if you want to do a new print. I think that these should have wacky like representations of what the dimensions are, like. Oh yeah, yeah. dimensions. <laughs> like this is the dimension Switch with the, birds uh, in overhead. it. Yeah, yeah you have to change the focus, but it's fine. But I think it'd be cool if it was like, oh, this is the bird dimension. <laughs> yeah, those are the. This is great. the like I don't know. They're all dimension. different yeah. world eaters from. Yeah, it would yeah. be it would be kind of fun to see right. see some sort of. But sure. also, you know, if, if doesn't have change. Little bits of art yeah. in there. Obviously, it doesn't change the game. Sure. But I think, yeah. I think it, you know what? I think it could. Okay. Yeah. I think yeah. it could change the game. House, house would, rules right. for the bird dimension. Yeah, you pull up your next, your cosmic bird. House map, rules for play a second. Oh, yeah, you have to play yeah. a whole game of bird, cosmic bird. Yeah. 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 Cosmic dog. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you get, you get little sub neoprene mats that are tied to each dimension. <laughs> yeah. And when you're in this one, you go to this mm -hmm. other sub board. It's like like 12 at night and you're like oh, we finished it's like no actually we just finished cosmic bird and <laughs> now we have to finish cosmic frog, cosmic frog. <laughs> back to the frogs <laughs> uh Good. yeah well anyway um thanks again mike for uh, running the stream and no playing problem. the game i no think you're reading your one you did great you did, you did great I'm, both. you're asked <laughs> you're um you were not unfocused I don't need you guys. Is what I really <laughs> you can play the game, yeah. you can run the streams. No, I mean, actually, just, uh, and I don't know if you want to talk about this or sure. not, but just, like, yeah. running it and playing is not great, but yeah. doable in a simple game like this. If the game was any less simple than this, yeah. uh, I would not be able to play Which it. was always our fear. Yes. Like, or, right. And previously, when we were streaming a couple years ago, more frequently, we talked about how we you need someone <laughs> to run the stream right. so that you can completely focus on the game. Um, if, if we want to be switching cameras and all that, which I, I like, you know. If, I think you've about. talked about doing a um, a more casual thing where you do a, a bunch of small games. It, yeah. This would be fine for, for that. Sure. Um, or this game, or maybe, you know, I don't know. I'm 
trying to think of like a more simple game, Trash like Lords. King of Tokyo, if we yeah. were ever to do that, I'm which sure. we wouldn't. Right. <laughs> but but, uh, but uh, yeah. you know, like a, a game that's like, or like uh, Carcassonne. Like Carcassonne sure. would be a, would be a quick one that one that I could do or you could do sure. at the same time. But, but if, if it was Cryptic Fuji Explorers for Kucha, oh God, I would not. Yeah, <laughs> Age of Steam, like yeah. yeah. So like. I think there are games for it, but we uh, we should definitely try to make sure that we have something to run it for any of the other more complicated yeah. ones. Which yeah, we we've talked about before, but yeah. good to good to kind of have a discussion on definitely. That. Anyway, that's gonna do it. If you guys enjoyed that, um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, consider going to phasingplayer.com slash donate if you want to throw us any cash to help us upgrade stuff we have going on in the stream and just show your appreciation. Uh, but until next time, which will be at some point, I think we've sort of. I mean, we've been doing two weeks every other week. Maybe we'll do one two weeks from today, two weeks from this week. Mm -hmm. and I don't know. I announced that we were going to do this between last night and this morning. So mm -hmm. we will uh, maybe, maybe the next time <laughs> we'll plan more than one day in advance. But who knows? Subscribe to the channel so you can see when we do go live. And until then, good night. <laughs>